it. Just... Hey everyone, the welcome to the Rooster Teeth Podcast. This week brought to you by Blue Apron, MeUndies, and Squarespace. Pancakes. I'm Gus. I'm Gavin. Pancakes. And I'm, that's I've pancakes over there. I've immediately got some issues, right? All right. A, you it's... already messed up a pancake. You butchered one. That doesn't count because the camera out. wasn't rolling. And and D, someone individually <laughs> sliced the blueberries in half. Like a maniac. That's like a serial killer. It was the would do intern. That. He was told to cut them because apparently they were too big for the pancakes. And he did it's as he was told. Berry. He didn't question authority and you just You gotta did question it. people, otherwise you end up with that bowl of mush. He he was just he's just trying to impress. He's trying to do a job. So don't, you're just making plain it. ones? You're not putting like What do you want? No one's asking. No one's asking me for shit. Okay, I want a chocolate chip one. Chocolate chip. I would love a uh chocolate chip and strawberry. Chocolate chip. You gotta get them in there before it. Well, the strawberries you put on top after. Yeah. You don't. Dude, well, then just pancake. tell me the part. Tell me the chocolate okay, chip. Chocolate chip, please and thank you. Oh, guys. look at that. So oh. Bernie's not here. I don't know where he is. Bernie is running late, so <laughs> he's missing pancakes. He's missing pancakes. He, means... he wanted, believe it or not, he wanted to delay the start of the podcast. Why didn't he show up? Because the podcast comes on at five. Well, barely. We... <laughs> Last like couple of weeks. I don't want to confuse people. He asked if we could push it to to six, and I said no. <laughs> So we're gonna have since we're making pancakes there's a bunch of people, I figure we can get people coming in and out of here to to sit in the chair. There's a dog up here now, apparently. We just lost. Well let's put him in the chair. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> What's up, dog? He can be Bernie. Let's you make him Bernie? a little dog pancake. Put him I, over I, I made him a little dog pancake. Where's his little dog pancake? He already oh. ate it. You ruined it. He's back for oh, more. Oh shit! I gotta flip these or something, don't I? Well, so no, you're still I had good. I had to practice because, uh, as I admitted before we started the podcast, I've never made a pancake in my life. Really? Never done it. So oh. every year we've done the pancake podcast for the last four years. This is the fourth one or the fifth one? This is the fourth. Fourth? You've never made one? No. It's always been Bernie. Yeah. Is it the fourth? And then we had Kirby Lane that one time. Yep. This is the fourth or fifth? Does anybody know? How many how times have we done? I think this? it's this is. This it's is the, fourth? the fourth. This is the fourth. Dog, where are you going? It's getting it's gone pretty good. What do you want? It's just good. It's a great layout. We've got all the toppings. Yeah. It's fantastic. Although, although, Someone, although we have molasses, too. Well, I Treacle. don't know why. What? Who chose the molasses? It was leftover. It was leftover. leftover. I was like, I, what monster puts molasses on their pancake? What, what do you, it, leftover from what, though? It smells awful. All right, Does here it? we go. This pancake can uh, be good. Oh, those are oh, good, guys. Wow. Look at the, uh, look at the smoothness. <laughs> Ah, uh, look at that. Fucking nailed it. You would never know that I haven't spent my whole life not making pancakes. Um, so, so it's- ah, oh, stop opening that. That's gross. I want it to smell What it. is that even used for? Uh, ruining food? <laughs> I made some wings one it's time. It's called grandma's too. Well, I made barbecue one time and I used some molasses in the, the marinade. Uh, no, it was- it was not- not good. It was not good times. I'm worried, by the way, because the last time you cooked for me, I got food poisoning. That was Bernie. We I, don't know who I it think was. it might have been from your steak. It was that Brian ate all of my steak. Oh, was it Brian who ate my steak? Yeah. Yeah, yeah and he was fine. Well, he, where is he now, steaks. though? He's in animation. <laughs> it's what happens to everyone in broadcast. Maybe he did get sick, but he was too embarrassed to tell you. No, I think he would have said something. No, knowing Brian, he would have not have said anything. He did absolutely would have. Did you see the news, Gus, that um, apparently a bunch of Crystal Palace fans <sighs> vandalized the bus of the opposing team? No, their own... Middlesbrough. And then it turned out... That they vandalized their own bus. They spray painted Crystal Palace on the Crystal Palace bus. Crystal Palace is not having a good season. I don't know if you're keeping up with the. No, where League. are they now? They might be relegated. Yes. <laughs> They're second from the to, bottom. Are you still going to support them when they <laughs> slumming it in the second division? I, I got. I'll have to find someone else. <laughs> they are. They are. They are not. They're not having a good time. They, they, they vandalized their own bus. Well, they thought they were spray painting over the Middlesbrough bus. So they just wrote their own team name on their bus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was real dumb. Uh, here's one? a little one. I don't know if anybody out there wants one. I wish you had the ones you did before the show started on the table. Well, that's why I practiced <laughs> <laughs> before the show started. Everyone asks, why are you doing it now? Oh, get, give me that middle one. That was that a good middle one. one. Get it, Becca. That. Lush. Lush. So we should feed it to There's another one over there, too. Do we have whipped cream in that? Yeah, you want some oh, whip, uh, I That was mine. No. <laughs> you want to sit up here I'm for a minute, Becca? Eat that pancake? Eat that pancake. Has Becca ever been on the podcast? Becca's never been on the podcast. You've never been on the podcast, have you? Uh, no. You're the person. It's your dog, by the way. Where's your dog? I don't know where he went. He disappeared. He's over there? All right. He dined and dashed. He's in all the wires. That's where a dog belongs. You do always, um. I know. You do always watch the podcast, though. Because you're not always. You're the one texting me constantly while we're on. Yeah, I like to blow you up a little bit. It's part of the job. Yeah. Cream. What do you do here? What do I do here? I am the web content manager. No at, whipped cream. Oh, there's chocolate in this. That's so, oh. I'm the web content manager at 
Rooster Teeth and also the voice of Sister on Red vs. Blue. You tweeted a fucking photo of Gavin and I oh, from like sorry. 10 years ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why the fuck do you have that photo? And why um, the fuck were we hanging out? Becca has pictures from There's my old guys. phone that I even I don't have. Yeah, Gavin, it was like back when I think you first came to America. How old are you when you first came to America? Uh, 17, well in that picture I was 19. You're, you were 19 in that photo? It was June or 18, 2007. I guess it was yeah, I think you're 18, right? 19? Yeah. When's your birthday? I was just 19. How old are you now? 28. <laughs> you're 28 now and that picture was from 2007. June 2007. I can't even so remember. Years ago, okay. I can't even remember hanging out and playing rock band. It was Guitar Hero. It was, was Guitar Hero. Oh yeah, yeah I guess it was, it was that long ago. Yeah. I and mean, that was like Good pancake? Thank you. prime Guitar Hero time. It was like, like Guitar Hero was, 3 or something. Oh, shit. No, no, no. It was OG. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. And there's me, me in the background, background <laughs> looking like a weird Who is that behind cat? Gavin? Do you can you recognize that? That is Josh. Oh, is it? Oh, is it really? That's my ex fiance. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not him. It is. It is. It totally sure? is. Yeah. Yeah, because it kind of looked like him, and I was trying to figure it out. That's why I went back and looked at the date that it was taken because uh, we broke up like a week after that. So. Was it because of something that happened at the party? Yeah, no, it's because yeah. I came to America. Yeah, we had a, a long running streak where Gavin would meet one of my boyfriends, and then we would break up mm. shortly. It was, after. I think, three times in a row. I came to America, and then like a week later, you broke up. Yeah. <laughs> Weren't you like worried about introducing him to Michael? <laughs> Your current no, husband. Bernie was. Bernie was very concerned about. It. He was like, "Don't do it. Don't do it." But I knew Michael was. He was a keeper. Lame. He could stand the test of Gavin. Mm -hmm. Are you sure he's a keeper? I mean, I know you're married with a kid. Is it for certain? <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I, I'm common. in too deep. Pancake to anybody? Be asking that question now. Over this there? is good, guys. This might be what better you, what than... What do you want? That was a great pancake. You got it. Mm. This is good. I heard someone else back over there say it. Uh, Anna wants a chocolate chip. Also, I'm sorry. The lipstick you put on me is totally coming off right now. <laughs> You said chocolate chip and blue. You said chocolate chip and chocolate chip and blueberries. <laughs> Just blueberry. You also pretty miffed that you don't have Becca at Rooster Teeth. Yeah, it's bullshit. Why don't you have Becca at Rooster Teeth? <laughs> she came I in too know. late. I, yeah, officially, I'm I guess. part of the new taxonomy. But the new taxonomy. I used to have Jesus Christ. Becca at Red versus Blue dot com. It forwarded, but There's, I fucked I this one it. up. You, you watched it, Gavin. Does it not work anymore? <laughs> Honestly, I haven't tried. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Gus, it was back when Gus managed the email server. Oh, no, it's probably just like a fake dumb better. alias that oh, I did. Yeah. Then. He's it definitely didn't in the zone. Work. He's in the pancake zone. Yeah, I, I, that's the hard part now for me, like trying to talk <laughs> and make pancakes at the same time. I'm so nervous about fucking pancakes up. What you see, your... like, you do you have pancake cam? I fucked this one up. Can you see the little fold there? <laughs> that's not bad though. Are you flipping any, or are you just plopping them down? Because I feel like we got pancake cam. You should at least flip one and try. So you're and... saying I should destroy the camera? No, just, just like flip it up. The camera, just get like like upwards. I'll not try it on like, that. Uh, let me try it on one that I'm not making yeah. for someone. Or the one that doesn't have toppings on yeah. it. Man, that was good. That was a good one. This is going to be a, a a busy week for you in podcasts because you're also on Always Open this week. I am indeed. Becca's double booked. Yeah, it's my, my big debut. Well, now this is your big debut. Yes. Rooster Podcast oh, stole oh, it. Stole your thunder. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Rupert, you posted a video of Rupert today, which was probably the cutest thing I've ever seen. Little baby Rupert. Yeah. He was like five weeks old. I don't know how you have so many of those There's a dogs. fucked up chocolate chip one. I don't remember who asked for it. <laughs> those dogs. Because like one is a nightmare. Well, it's easier with two. Because then it? they entertain each other. Mm. Yeah. I think that one that's steaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you, you messed it up again. <laughs> I'm frazzled. I'm losing it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gus, do you want to sit in my seat and I'll make pancakes? Maybe. Oh, that's, that's kind of insulting there. Well, I just feel bad. Oh, here it goes. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's good enough for Rupert. <laughs> yeah. You want a floor pancake? Go get it. I want to see Rupert. See if he can catch it. Will he catch it in his mouth? How hot is it? Uh, it's probably still warm. Oh, it's steaming. Might want to wait a second. Slow your roll, little dude. I get too anxious. Like, I want to try to <laughs> flip them before they're ready. That's my problem. So uh, I end yeah. up fucking them up. I think you're too concerned about watching for the bubbles. Well, you're also yeah. cooling it down with each use, aren't you? I guess so. Because of science and that. Yeah. Is it is it Rupert pancake time? Hey, we gotta go on this shot over hot. here. You ever see a dog eat a pancake? We're fucking innovating here. <laughs> Should I give him the whole thing or tear it up? It's up to you. I don't, I don't know how your dog likes pancakes. Let's see him eat it piece by piece. But like, yeah, there you go. Yes. <laughs> Do you think we have to explain what pancake day is again, Gavin? <laughs> uh, well, tomorrow is Shrove Tuesday, obviously. What? Shrove Tuesday. So many people ask me what that is. Can you explain it? I can't explain uh, it. Who asked for the blueberry? Is it Fat Tuesday? 
Is that the same thing? Yeah. Except it should be a table of fixings over there. In the Bible, it was called Shrove Tuesday, the day before Ash Wednesday. What does Shrove mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's been four years. I, I mean, I didn't know what it was the first time I was trying to explain it. All I know is that you eat pancakes. By the way, not these kind of pancakes. You actually eat crepes. So oh. we would been doing it wrong. Which for Gus four has years, been trying to every make. time, but sure. You let me know if you want me to to make some pancakes. Can you write? In a bit. Can you make a Gus shaped pancake? Like, can you? I don't pour, have a squirt bottle. Name? He can't even make the circular pancakes. You think he could if write? You make a big G. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll kill her. <laughs> um, no, I can't do anything. <laughs> Obviously, I'm I'm struggling here with pancake 101. You're talking about like graduate level pancake over there. Can you do Mickey Mouse? No. That's easy. Come on. Three circles? Three circles. I can't even do one circle. What's I just made that exact same comment and then you <laughs> gave me the death stare. Yeah, but I can, I, I can be self-deprecating. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is that a Big Mac on your shirt? I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it looks delicious. It? I love it. I don't, I don't I think know if this not grill's still anyway. on. Yeah. Any on? I mean, it's still steaming. Does that have chocolate in it or is it burnt? Chocolate. chocolate. Okay. I'll move it to that grill. It's it's that. I mean, it is still burnt. It's both. It's got chocolate, it's raw, and it's burnt. Because mm. that's how I cook pancakes. I somehow think I'm going to get food poisoning from tonight. It's somehow. impossible. I don't know. I don't Wasn't that a impossible. good pancake? Those were the best ones oh, I made. No, that was a Mine great was good. pancake. Yeah. It, was, it was like crispy and raw on the inside. Did anyone was... watch... Uh, <laughs> crispy and raw. Did anyone watch Dem Oscars? D yeah. No, no. But did anything cool happen? <laughs> it's a good joke. <laughs> Becca with a joke. Quality. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Uh, that's like one of the first times I've ever watched the Oscars live. Well, that's I, a good... I usually don't have cable, but I do have cable now because it's included with my apartment. I'll fucking brag Ooh. about it. And... Uh, yeah, what a clusterfuck that ending was. <laughs> Holy shit. I remember seeing the stage manager come out and looking all frantic and like he had two envelopes with him. And I was just sitting there thinking like, oh, fuck, they said the wrong winner. They said the, the wrong Chocolate chip. winner. Yeah, there was a weird you amount of scrambling. It didn't feel right. Something was about to go down. Something was about to go down. I've never seen that. I, mean, like I've, I've, I, don't, I, I didn't think that was even possible. You would think like the chain of command for how many people have to hold that envelope and then pass it to the... Yeah, people like and double check checking, it. Yeah. right? Like, did so you like, read how they do it? Like, no. People have the same envelope on either side of the stage. Is it like two accounts? So they hand it off, depending on which side you enter from. They hand the envelope to that person. Mm -hmm. So I assume Warren Beatty entered from the opposite side of the stage from the previous person. So he somehow got the, the envelope. previous envelope. They yeah. hadn't cycled it forward. Yep, that's nuts. I like that he came back on to be like. All right, here's what happened. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why people are giving him shit. Yeah, it wasn't no, Faye. It was him. him. Who gave him shit? Also, like, anyone deserves shit. Online. It's Faye Dunaway, but yeah. she also doesn't deserve shit because they she were was handed given the, the wrong, wrong envelope. Yeah. yeah. Also, I think every, at that time everyone wanted to know what happened, so he was like, "Here, I'll let me fill you in. Yeah. Here's what happened. Here's why I was acting like a bit of a weirdo up there." But then Emma Stone went into an interview and she's like, "I had my envelope the whole time. I don't know what they're talking about." So she was the one who I think put that bug in people's ears. She then. said it weirdly. Like yeah. I didn't quite understand what she was saying. You know. I had it in my hand the whole time, meaning like he it didn't have it. Couldn't have been well, like, what he read. Think basically, she but if there's there two envelopes, chips. he handed it to her. Maybe who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Something something fishy's going on there, or it just was a very simple mistake. Seems and like a simple two people who are to see go down presenting time. an award in front of millions and millions and millions of people saw Emma Stone. La La Land and didn't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> so, best movie is Emma Stone. Emma, Emma Stone. Stone. That was my favorite movie of 20, 2016. Had she won an Oscar before? No. no. I yeah. think she was nominated for Bird. Birdman, yeah. Mm. Yeah. But did she, she won a Golden Globe though, right? I feel like I've seen her make so. an acceptance speech yeah. before. Yeah. It's too many award shows. Too many awards. Yeah, that, that second griddle is not. Yeah, like what's cooking. going on? These all went on at the same time. He tripped a breaker. I love how you could see Rupert under there too. Maybe Rupert ate the cable. And Rupert, broken. You, you figured out where the pancakes came from? <laughs> they're all terrible over here, according to Barbara. No, they're great. I loved mine. So yeah, my shirt. You asked who asked about my shirt. We Barb. the Big Mac. It's uh, it was a birthday present Megan Castro gave me. I have no idea what it is. It's like cats I've never looking seen... at a Big Mac. Oh whoa, there's a lot. Going I've on. never seen a a tighter shirt on you before. It's uh, it's, a it's tight. pretty nipply. It's a little snug. It's a <laughs> is little it moisture wicking? We're gonna find out very quickly because it's hot <laughs> over here. <laughs> um, so I went to Vegas last week, and I was there for a conference. And I was at a bar, and I looked behind the bar, and I saw this bottle of liquor that I'd never seen before. Like I'd seen ads for this bottle of liquor in uh, Australia before, 
but I'd never seen the actual bottle. And it stands out to me because this bottle looks like something automotive liquid would come in, like brake fluid or headlight fluid, like fuel injector cleaner, headlight <laughs> fluid. So uh, I was there with Alan, and he asked the bartender to like let us look at the at the bottle. So we start looking at this bottle. The bartender tells us it's the most expensive bottle of liquor they have at that bar. Like a shot of it is $75. Holy shit. And uh, so Alan, of course, being Alan, he uh, talked the bartender into giving us a double for $50. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 Doing a salesman shit. Not only bar. give me a discount, you give me one for free. Because yeah. it was, uh, I guess they, they imported it. It was a Chinese liquor that they imported for Lunar New Year, thinking that they would sell it all to tourists. But since Lunar New Year is over, they said, you know, they haven't been selling any. So they were like, yeah, we just so need to So he did them we, a favor. We just need to get rid of it. Right. So uh, it's, a, it's this liquor called Mu Tai. I think it's like M O U T E I or something like that. Uh -huh. It's made from fermented sorghum. What? What is that? It's like a wheat. Like a wheat. Yeah. And it's like when you drink it, it's like dead plants embed themselves in your sinuses and live there now. I swear to God, Wait, I still what? smell it and it's still in my fucking nose <laughs> and I can't unsmell it. You need to get a neti pot. I need to fucking do something. So Little pancake. It wasn't worth it? It was not worth it. We had to cover it like, we had to cover it with a napkin because we didn't want to, to smell it anymore. Here, take that, just take that. So should we put something else in your nose? Little pancakes? Little pancake? There you go. There's I another think, one over there too. I think after your first round, people aren't really clambering back for, <laughs> for more pancakes. Look, these are better. People these are, are like, good. no, I'm they good, man. Be careful. So, <laughs> if, right. you, if you ever see Mu Tai, do not drink it. You either. There it is. is that, that's like, what yeah. it looks oh, like. Oh, it is in a oh, weird gross. Bar. It looks like Pepsi or something. So it's with. There's no chaser to like clear your. Passages. There was. There's nothing in the world there. that can cleanse that. Like you, I would. I would have had to get like a pipe cleaner and stick it up my <laughs> nose and fucking jab my sinuses clean, <laughs> to uh to get rid of that. Did you see? Speaking of stuff stuck stuck up your nose, did you see a video of this turtle that had a plastic Orgasm? straw? What? Yeah, that's coming around again. <laughs> it was way different wait. than where I was going. Have you seen the turtle With orgasm the... video? No. Okay. Well, I, uh, is the one, one of humping a shoe? No, it's one? outside. And it's like just. Oh, the one that's making the noise. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh God. Well, no, this is <laughs> way less funny than face? that. <laughs> like, how do you decipher what an O face is versus like if it's in pain or? Well, a toe has like two emotions, tell, right? everywhere. You can tell. <laughs> um, no, this is a video of a turtle that had a, it was a plastic straw that got lodged into its nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Didn't we talk about it on the podcast? I didn't. Oh. I only saw good. this video last night. Um, and then there's these people who are like working, they have pliers and like they're trying to pull it out and it's like bleeding and the oh. turtle's like screaming and like thrashing around and they finally get it out. And the thing was like this long, like... I don't know oh, how I don't know how they knew it was stuck up there because it was like all the way in to the point where it was past the nostril. But Wait, how long is the turtle's sinus cavity? I don't know. I guess they, they have long necks. It was one of those big, I guess, tortoises. It's pretty gruesome. I don't like that video. It's yeah, gross. it's, I seen yeah, that. it's, it's gross. It's, it's hard to watch. I'd much rather watch a turtle orgasming. You also <laughs> don't know whether they're hurting it, right? Whether it's better to leave it in. Right. Probably not. But I mean, if if anything what, was going to get, I think it might just be the raw pancake. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it just tastes like I'm eating warm batter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see it. Rupert's like, wait, what? What up? I mean, all right, taste test from Gus. <laughs> does it jiggle? It's a little bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. It's like if it had five more seconds, it would have been done. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to request a, a, a major one. All right. With more, uh, but, with more chocolate chips after those. I'm not using this ones. other grill anymore because it's it keeps fucking up. Did you need us to turn it off? I'm gonna turn it off. Okay. Are these Re the same ones y'all used last year? Reboot. I don't know. I think they might be. I don't know All how right. many pancakes your major one? we have. Just a, a really big one, but with loads of chocolate chips. Yeah. Like. Give it a like shake. Full, full sheet. Yeah, full sheet. Full sheet. You're not gonna be able to flip that. I'm not gonna be able to flip this. You could damn try though. Gotta make it. And round. then load it with chocolate chips. It'll be like Rupert. You're gonna burn yourself. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the appropriate amount of water? I'm told hey, Rupert. it is uh, measured out. <laughs> you want a pancake? <laughs> He's got a taste for them. Rupert knows what's up. Rupert eats pancakes almost every day. Does he really? Yeah. Is he allowed to have a He's battery? like, 
Sure, if you'll eat it. So how did you, how did you get these pictures from my phone? Did I send it you to you? You must have, yeah. Like that, like I remember that picture. So I went looking for it specifically. Mm. Like and it. I knew I had emailed it at one point in time. So I think was that was the day where we were all playing Guitar Hero and Jason and I had independently played like Madhouse or something mm -hmm. and I ended up next to him in the world leaderboards. Like weird. Right next that to was other. a time when Xbox Live was a small place. Yeah, but I mean, it was still, we were like 100,000 and then 100,000 and... That's crazy. It was like one difference. And it was, the chances were ridiculous of that happening. Yeah, that's, that's unbelievable. Um, when's the last time you've been to Vegas? You ever been to Vegas? Yeah. You've been to, when's the last like time? Three months ago, two months ago. When's the last time you went, Barbara? Uh, the last and only time I've been to Vegas was with you and Alan. Oh, like two or three years ago? Yeah. Where what you about? learned, or where you taught me. Uh, I learned you craps. You learned me craps. <laughs> uh, you taught me how to play craps. What about and you, I, Becca? I was there for like my weddings hours. in oh. May 2013. That was the last time you were there? Yeah, it's been a while. I think it was 2013 is the year you went also, right? I think so. <laughs> you just whip a plate at your Very, dog. <laughs> she threw a plate at her dog. Um, this last time I was there, I was Rupert, for the love of God, man. <laughs> it's really Show cute. some dignity. Um, show <laughs> some dignity. I was playing craps, and uh, you know, there's a bunch of craps tables, and there's one where it's like two old dudes are kind of close to each other, but there's a space between them. And I was like, I, Do you what? think the audio listeners are just imagining you're jerking off at the same time as the story? I hope so. <laughs> you're really anyway. I, there was like two old dudes, and uh, I decided <laughs> I want to play craps. Damn it! Uh, right between them. So, so <laughs> I walk over there and it's like one of them is like so old that he's like he's got a rascal scooter and he can't stand at the craps table So they've got like a high chair for him and he's kind of sitting there and then the other dude I don't know He's just kind of a, a weird guy and the guy to my right is the weird one The one on my left is the one sitting down and the one on my right after like it was Immediately as soon as I pulled up the one on the right asked the one on my left like what's your name? And he guy says something I can't hear it the guy on my right goes I'm gonna call you Dominic because you remind me of my grandfather. I was like what? And so like okay. the whole time, the guy on my right kept calling the guy on my left Dominic, even though that wasn't his name. And the guy on my left could not speak English. He only spoke Italian. So the guy on my right just started saying amore to him over and over. And I was like, what the fuck <laughs> am I like standing a, between? Sounds like a weird so dream. Honor. It was really bizarre. All right. All right, let's see uh, the grand pancake. The grand cake. I feel like this is just going to be a waste and I'm going to ruin the griddle. Uh, I mean, sure. I'm going to try half. No, all or nothing. Just do a nice big circle. I'll do a big circle. Because I, gotta, I gotta flip it. You gotta flip it, but you can flip it anyway. The rest what? of us want pancakes. Right. That, that, once that's it, that's it. Because this griddle, something's going on with All right. it. Alright, here we go. The grand, the grand cake. The granddaddy. Starting small. I feel like there's teasing. too much water in there. It looks pretty watery. It's very watery. These were pre-portioned for, for me? Mm. Oh, one mug? Alright, get some chocolate chips in that. Some chocolate chips on that shit? Let's get them in. Maybe you just have to cook it for longer. Thicken it up. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I'm oh, going to eat that. Nice cluster right on that side. <laughs> Barbara, shut up. You're, <laughs> you're making me get in my own head. <laughs> there. A lot of chocolate right. chips. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's I like some chocolate chips. I mean, chocolatey. I feel like, so you said Rupert eats pancakes like every day. How often do you all eat pancakes? Uh, once a year on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, almost never. Maybe sometimes if I happen to find myself at an IHOP. But that's probably like yeah. once every two or three years. Because usually if I go out for breakfast or brunch or something, I don't tend to order pancakes or waffles. Mm. Not order even like, at the waffle? Well, unless I'm at the waffle. There you go. But I haven't been there for a while. So do you eat pancakes every day? No, my daughter does. Oh. oh do you make right. your pancakes every day? I don't make them. I microwave them. I buy little <laughs> frozen <laughs> silver dollar ones. And then she feeds half them to the dogs. Do you not cook? I do, but I don't have time to cook. So... I rarely cook. Well, well, well. Nice to see you here. What was the last thing you cooked? Like the last real absolute meal you cooked? Uh, okra gumbo. Okra like, cu gumbo. A couple days ago. What is okra gumbo? I know what gumbo is. It's then. okra, <laughs> tomato, like stewed tomatoes and onions. Ooh. So no meat. No meat. Michael's a vegetarian, so I can't cook with meat. I did not. Oh, you can. Food. I can, but you just can't eat you it. You won't eat it. married a vegetarian. Yeah. It's tricky. How long has he been a vegetarian? Uh, like... 15 years. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. Long time. Yeah. But yeah, he's but anemic, too. He just found out. So I'm like, does this mean you'll start eating meat now? <laughs> does that mean your iron's low? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's so many terms now for people. What? Well, anemic's an old term. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> One of these new. <laughs> these newfangled millennial words. One of them anemics. Gluten free. <laughs> when I was um, in high school, I was taking my chemistry class. And. Just look at that pancake. It's massive. And like our, our chemistry 
teacher wanted to explain to us how like <clears throat> some cereal like Total has iron in it and that it's actually magnetic. So he put a piece of Total like in a dish of water and then with a magnet he was able to like drag it around what? the dish. That's cool. Total yeah. has a shit ton of iron in it. Right. And I guess like that's why he used that one as a as an example. Just like it's like it's literally iron. Like you think about like, oh, you need iron in your diet. It's like, oh, it's actually like magnetic. It's the actual element. I always just assume it was like a different iron. Right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like a, like an, an edible one. Like you wouldn't go up yeah. to a car and take a bite out of it. Like fluid ounces versus weight. You're supposed to have a lot of iron when you're pregnant, right? I think so, yeah. So you could just like lick some rust? Yeah. I guess like eating, <laughs> cooking with a cast iron skillet is supposed to be beneficial too. Cause you really? Because you actually get the iron infused into I feel your like I like when to... your foods actually taste like iron. I would love to oh, see Oh gosh, that is magnificent. Oh, that looks real good. It's I, a little sink. raw here in I would the give it yeah. a little bit. Give yeah. it a sec. Um, I like the idea of a pregnant woman just like licking a cast iron <laughs> skillet. <laughs> I, I, I used to like... Uh, Cast iron skillets, but I feel like they're so they they end up being dirty, right? Because like right, in order to take to care of them, them, yeah, they have to be seasoned. You're not supposed to wash them or like you know use you soap and water. Season your skillet. Yeah, have you never used a cast iron? No, it's a huge pain in the ass. Huh? But it's I better? use one, but I'm very picky about what I'll cook in it because I don't want anything that's really messy because it's a pain in the ass to clean. You only can use like a paper towel and water. Like, worst case scenario, that's the most you can use. Oh wow, sounds awful. Sounds this like sounds it's not like worth it. Way too much work. Yeah. Uh, like cornbread's really good in it though. Are you not supposed to put pots and pans in the dishwasher? It depends on the quality of them. I don't put okay. mine in the dishwasher. I wouldn't dishwasher. put nonstick in there. I don't need, okay. For the coated. I might mm -hmm. have been doing that for the last five years. They still you're work fine. You're also not supposed to put knives in the dishwasher. Yeah. Why? The heat ruins the temper of the blade. Yeah, and they get pissed off quicker. <laughs> I, I, it took me a long time to learn that one. Like, your knives will get fucked up. Well, yeah, I don't really have good quality anything. I need like a good, <laughs> a, like a good set of cookware. Here we go. Give me a. I got that a couple years cam. ago. I finally. Oh, oh amazing! Wow. Fucking nailed it. Round of applause. Oh. <laughs> no one thought I could do it. That's all that applause means. Nobody believed in me. I believed in you. I only clapped once. <laughs> you just did a single clap. <laughs> oh. I'm too busy with Doug. Aw, he happy. How many dogs do you have, Becca? <laughs> I'm like, Barbara, you know I have zero. I have three dogs. I or love three dogs. I love your fat dachshund, Seymour. Yeah, believe it or not, I have one that's even fatter than Seymour. Really? Yeah, like is super fat. <laughs> she just eat the food of the other dogs. Yeah, all she wants to do is eat. Like she's really old. She's thirteen, and so she's just gotten senile and and fat, and grumpy. And <laughs> Did I eat yet today? Probably not. <sighs> yeah. Damn it! Someone, uh, someone on Twitter here using the hashtag RT Podcast pointed out something that I should have done. You saying that you don't have time to cook every day? Well, let me tell you about our sponsor, Blue Apron. <laughs> wow. Hey. Not all ingredients are created equal. Fresh, high-quality ingredients make a real difference, so it's important to know where your food comes from. For less than $10 per person per meal, Blue Apron delivers seasonal recipes along with pre-portioned ingredients to make delicious home-cooked meals. Choose from a variety of new recipes each week or let Blue Apron's culinary team surprise you. Recipes are not repeated within a year, so you'll never get bored. Blue Apron's freshness guarantee promises that every ingredient in your delivery arrives ready to cook or they'll make it right. Customize your recipes each week based on your preferences. Blue Apron has several delivery options so you can choose what fits your needs. There's no weekly commitment, so you only get deliveries when you want them. <laughs> Check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free with free shipping <laughs> by going to blueapron.com slash roosterteeth. You'll love how good it feels and taste to create incredible home-cooked meals with Blue Apron, so don't wait. It's blueapron.com slash roosterteeth. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Shout out to whoever that was uh, on Twitter that reminded me I should have done that. I want to see. Let's see uh, Barbara, if we can. <laughs> <laughs> looks, looks good on you. It's a fun game, isn't it? It's a good look. <laughs> I'm beautiful. Oh Did you just make this up? This is a good uh, game. Yeah, I was, I was bored. All right. You were bored? I think it needs a little more. I don't want to okay. destroy it. I'm, I'm getting eager, that. too. I want to I wanna <laughs> taste it. Looks good. Still looks like too watery, though. You always got to complain. What Where? Where's the water? I criticize. Should we do it properly next year? Should we do crepes? Crepes are hard to make, aren't they? Are they? It's no. like a, you need like a They're special kind of griddle, right? Or something, maybe? No, you and you have to make it really thin. You need one of those like little like spreader things to make it real thin. Mm -hmm. Nah. Nah, you feel yeah. shit. No. You gotta make it right. You feel shit. All right, yeah, you, you make it. the round thing with the, the ladle. And yeah. You, you flatten I mean, it you, out. It's all about how you pour it in. You just get it. Oh, no, no. You do it now. We can't do it with this gloopy crap. Why? It's different, isn't it? 
Yeah, crepes are a different r- never recipe. Had a- it's not just like a really thin pancake, is it? I think, is it? You, I think pancake and waffle batter is the same. Yeah, it's pretty much. The same. Are you serious? Yeah, you're blowing yeah. my if mind. If you put right this now. in a waffle maker, it'll come out yeah. with a waffle. So waffle's just a messed up pancake. Have you never thought about that? Yeah, it's just no, like a, a waffled pancake. The uh, the hotel we were staying at for RTX Sydney. I don't know if you all you went there. Uh, if you went and got breakfast, it had a pancake machine. Like yeah. you'd walk up to it and Love hit those. a button, and it would like. Squirt out the <laughs> the batter and then like cook it and then it would just spit it out at the end. That was one of the best That's buffets awesome. I've ever seen. It was really good. Like usually when you go to like a breakfast buffet at a hotel, it's like here's some like really shitty eggs, here's some fruit, a fucking muffin, and maybe like bacon. Yeah. Here they had like fresh ingredients, all this stuff. <laughs> pancake maker. The pancake cam was drifting. Pancake cam was not ready. You should uh, uh flip it over to see the chocolate side. Well, don't drop it. Yeah. <laughs> She just Barbara just wants to make sure it's cooked. Here, just take another plate and go like this. You, you do it. It's really hot. <laughs> Messing with my pancake. <laughs> it's a waffle. Thanks. That's, that's a good looking pancake. Oh, now you're awake. Yeah, exposed pancakes. Right, so are now I'm gonna make it really unhealthy. Well, I put <laughs> like it's not Wait, it looked, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it was healthy before you added blueberries to it. Let <laughs> me make it unhealthy by throwing these berries on top. A few of these. That You're pancake lunatic. came out, and this true. dog started shaking. <laughs> Does you, are your dogs afraid of uh, thunder? No, they don't really care too much. Seymour is a little scared. Like the other night, it was storming, and he got in the shower with me. Aww. So. Oh shit! So, <laughs> you were taking a shower at night during the storm. Yeah. Are you it's a nighttime totally shower person? I, I never was. I was always a morning shower person because I am not a morning person, and I need that in the morning to it's wake just me up. A but. If I don't shower at night, it will not happen in the morning now. It's just too hectic. All right, this is the finished piece. Let, let's if you let's show see it the, over uh, here. Show the pancake cam. That. Jesus Christ. That is the ultimate pancake. This is the uh, Rich <laughs> Teeth podcast salad, pancake. Yeah. The, the pancake's the plate. All right. Oh, don't spill it. Uh, what about you guys? You all shower in the morning like humans? Uh, I will shower in the morning and sometimes a cheeky bath in the evening. I, uh, depends on, face away. <laughs> it depends on what I have to do the next day or how early I need to wake up. Mm. If I have to be, like, on set for something at 7 in the morning, I'll shower at night, so all I have to do in the morning is just, like, fix my hair up. I, I cannot live just showering at night. Like, I'll, I'll feel awful. I'll feel so gross. I, I wake morning. up feeling so clean if I shower I, at night. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Like, it, I take my time with my ritual. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you get I can't clean. do it too late because I don't like the feel of anything after I've been wet. What like, does that mean? If I touch the duvet, it's I feel like gross. we've talked about this. Like you don't jump in the bed. <laughs> no, it's dri- right. dripping wet. wet. Yeah. No, it's awful. No, the it be- feels all funny. There's nothing better than like being in a bathroom and getting under the covers. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Oh, I want you to eat that what? like a taco. You're an idiot. Oh, roll I'm oh. an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Can I have some of your sludge? Well, yeah. Bloop. I tried to be a nighttime shower person for a while, uh, but I just, I just can't do it. It's got to be morning. Like you said, I need to wake up. Even like if I have an early call, I'll still like get up super But early. also, how long do you shower? Yeah. Is it like 10 minutes max? Yeah, yeah, and you max. also don't have to do anything after the shower. Yeah, True. you just go and leave, right? I make that face. That was really good. Yeah. It's a burrito. <laughs> it's a pancake burrito. Could I have one? You want one of these normal ones or you want a big monster like his? Just a normal one. All right. You got a normal one coming Real your way great. in just a minute. You get involved. Like start to finish with shower if I'm washing my hair and then getting ready. That's like... An hour and a half. Oh yeah, yeah, M- minimum. Yeah, I don't. I don't envy that. That seems like it so sucks. much work. It's also like, so it's he, not just the shower. It's like the he's, hair he's, product, he's taking, and then drying the hair, and then shaving, shaving your legs. If you wake up late, your strawberries. By the way, if you wake up late, do you just arrive late to work, or do you just come in looking like shit, or like looking shit? like shit? <laughs> Jesus, I mean, I do, are you ready? I always do the latter, no matter what. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, uh, dry shampoo. I usually just put my hair in a ponytail and. Take my makeup to work with me, like an hour in. We'll put my makeup on. I see, like on the uh, Austin subreddit now. I see there's people who will shame other drivers. I don't know if you've seen this. Shame other drivers who were texting or who are putting makeup on while they're driving. Uh-huh. Like there's there's this one guy in particular who has like two dashboard cameras set up in his car, one to the front and then one pointing out his passenger's window, so he can pass the other driver <laughs> and you can see what they're doing. Wow, he's fully invested yeah, in that. He is game. invested in. In being a, a dick. Like, I don't know why you would do that. Like, I can understand, like, it's fucked up that someone's doing that. But why are you taking a video and, like, posting it online? Yeah. Like, I don't understand, like, the, the satisfaction you get out of that. Can dogs eat all this fruit? They can eat Prob- strawberries. Fine. Probably yeah. not. Just not dogs grapes. Dogs hate grapes. Yeah, not grapes. <laughs> and not not chocolate. Buy it now. Not, not onions? Yeah. 
onions are poisonous for dogs too. Well, there's really? chocolate on this. But they never want to eat onions anyway. So oh, okay. Not it works issue. out. That works yeah. out well. I made a huge mistake with this. <laughs> it looks good. It looks good as shit. It's good as hell. It should have been the only one you had, though. You're dripping out the back there. Just oh, so I'm you know. dripping all over the place. Yeah, you're right. This thing definitely cools down. Takes takes a lot longer. Your pancake sapped the, the heat out of it. Oh. Are you going to be okay? I might pass out. You're going to need a, <laughs> to spew? It's a sugar rush. <laughs> We're going to get a super hyper Gavin. Yeah, then, he's like, going to be like really bouncing off the walls in a few minutes and then... I think I read something a couple of weeks ago, and I don't know how much I believe it. I didn't really look into it, that said that like sugar rushes and sugar highs aren't actually a thing. Well, yeah, I heard, I heard right. it's all bullshit. Yeah, so I, is, I, I always assumed it was true that like you eat a lot of sugar and you get hyper... This is what I love about being an adult, is that you can just make whatever you want and eat it. Like the shit you would love as a child. I used to like show off to my younger sisters, you know, when I first moved to Austin, you know, I'd talk to them on the phone every now and then, and they'd, I'd say, you know what I had for dinner? Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, I can... How much younger are they than you? Uh, like 10 years? Well, yeah. you're really having to think about that. Yeah. Because it, it's multiple ones, so I'm trying to like split the difference. Okay. Oh, this dog is really trying to get in there. <laughs> Rupert. Where are you going, buddy? Whoop. Oh. Oh. You asked for one, right? Yeah. That was like the least enthused reaction I've ever seen. <laughs> oh. It's because I also... <laughs> <laughs> wow, thanks, Gus! That's more like it. Thanks Look, I made cooking. a circle. I made that one just for you, special. It's cooked. It looks great. Mostly. I'm going to wait till it cools off. Did you just spit that out? Is... Oh, wait, what are you... What are you doing back there? I was just putting it down. Oh. I've been. I wanted a taste. Well, it's still here. <laughs> yeah, it's right on top. It's not in the you bin. Want it? No. <laughs> I don't want your trash. Have you? I know you haven't, Gavin. This is too much for you. Have you ever eaten anything out of the top of the trash that you put in? And then... God no. Yes, I have. I well, absolutely have. Why? I because I don't give a fuck. Like but not touching anything. But you're eating all like food that's been on top of mucky bacterial muck. It's not. We, it's not like right on top of it. So. <laughs> Mine was a spring roll that got accidentally thrown away, and it was still in like the to-go container at the top of the trash. Well, how long You're fine. Had, was a had it been in there? Like five minutes. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, okay. it's never been like more than a, a few minutes. Like you walk up to it and find it, You're like, oh, I don't know where that got. <laughs> or just like I'm throwing <laughs> something out the next day, and I'm like, oh, I don't remember throwing out the slice of pizza. Was that a Seinfeld episode? Was it? No. Eating like Everything's a piece of a Seinfeld episode. Food off the top of a can you garbage can. Get diabetes from one pancake? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Getting all hot and bothered. <laughs> Feeling it? My body's just wondering what I've just did yeah. done to it. You want to drink some syrup? Oh god. You want some? Do we don't have any beer? Oh. You want a beer? Do we have beer? Any beer? Yeah, that's what you need. Whoa! People are running. Oh god. <laughs> the rest is for me. That's what you think. So, Gus, I've recently gotten into a PC gaming in the living room. It looks your setup I'm looks a, awesome. I'm a fan of it. I love your. Uh, I got a, your fluke, table. a fluky situation. Yeah, you like his table. That's cool, right? Becca and I You're have the, the same exact table, same, same living same room, table. apparently. Then bring it on, don't worry. But I bought that table because I wanted to eat in front of the TV, and mm -hmm. it's perfect for just having meals. And I was like, oh, the keyboard and mouse will go here. Now that I have a PC in there. I've been playing Battlefield 1. That game looks really good. Have mm -hmm. you played it in, in 4K? I've like not played it in 4K. FPS? It's amazing! Hmm. It's like twice as good as the best next graphics. Hmm. Next but best graphics. Next, yeah. Really good looking. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a huge fan. I'm stuck. Playing Hearthstone again though on PC. It's like a card game. It's not even like <laughs> a good looking. Like is it's it not like a beautiful. 4K? <laughs> I'm sure it is. There's your setup. Looks really good. Yes, yeah, so that little thing on the left is the PC. You want a pancake? I want a pancake. All right, so we get a pancake. Did so, people criticize you about the amount of things you have on your desktop? Uh, yeah, they were like, organize it into folders, idiot. And I was like, they're all games. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I zoomed in. I, I was, was like, paper. I, was I could like, put them all. JPG. I could put them all into a folder called games, but then I'm really just adding a step to the exact same. Yeah, I don't get that mentality of like, oh, clean it up. It's like I'm organizing it how I want to organize it. They were also like, I just launch all my games from Steam or like Big Picture on Steam, and I was like, yeah, once again, that's an additional step. Yeah, that's great. That, that's how you do it. Yeah, I can just click, like the thing opens and then I click on the game. It Look. can't be quicker than that. Yeah, so that's how you open all your games. You yeah. go directly to the shortcut. Uh, yeah, it's just on the desktop. Like I there. search for everything now. There you go. Can you take the whole fucking thing, you <laughs> asshole? <laughs> um, I have a dog on me. I can't move. There was a do some work. So I, I'm I'm pissed yeah. off. This this is going to be the I'm video game sure. portion of the podcast. Why not? 
I'm pissed off about something. What right? are you pissed Gavin, off about? I think you'll appreciate this. Uh, is it Cortana sucks? Have you or... played For why Honor? Won't, why won't Beck and I appreciate yeah. it? Yeah, because you all don't play For Honor. Have you played For Honor? I played once. All the time. I played it every day for the last one year. <laughs> How's it been? It's impressive. It came out a couple weeks ago. Um, this is every time. <laughs> it. It. I, I. I. I was playing single player. Single player, right? Me. Mm -hmm. uh, I finished a level. There's a cutscene at the end of the level. The cutscene's playing, and about two seconds from the end of the cutscene, I get an error message saying, your Xbox's Ethernet uh, cable was unplugged, returning you to main menu. <gasps> what? That's what Hitman used to do. And so it took me back to the main menu, and I had to, I relaunched the game. It didn't remember I finished the level. I had to redo the entire level. I would have stopped playing. I would have stopped playing I for like gave, a month. I gave it a chance. I kept playing. Then I got, I, I, I got really annoyed because you cannot save that game in the middle of a level. If you step away from it, you lose your internet connection, and then it kicks you back out to main menu. Like, even if you reach a checkpoint in the middle of a level, it still kicks you out and makes you replay the whole level. When it started doing that, I was like, no, fuck this game. Fuck everything so about that. Yeah, I just moved on. I started playing Halo Wars 2. Why video the fuck do I need to be online to play a single player game? I gotta say, at this point, video games <laughs> are terrible and they suck, and the industry is toilet, and I don't like games. But video games are the best. So. Video games are good. <laughs> Sorry, really I have to a little bit of water right. in here. I'll get you a pancake in just a minute. What kind of pancake you want, Ashley? Yeah, what do you want in it? A chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip and bananas. Do I put the bananas on or do I wait till a little after? You wait till after. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to cook those. Yeah. yeah. Chocolate chip and uh, peanut butter chips too. Yep. Oh, there are peanut butter chips. Hell yeah. Two requests at once. That's Can like a that's like a Reese's peanut butter pancake. So you're like the waiter and the chef. Yeah. And I get to do this. Have you ever had either of those jobs? <laughs> no, I never have worked in food service. That's probably for the best. What about you guys? Anyone here? Yeah, I think we. Oh, all you worked have, Burger right? King. Yeah. Does, uh, did grocery stores count as food service? Probably nah, not. I was yeah. just putting. I wasn't like delivering. I wasn't. Or, cooking make, or anything. making food. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I was a waitress for a little bit. I mean, to be where, fair, I wasn't cooking food. Where, either, where really. were your waitress at? <laughs> Carrizo Springs at Lee's Steakhouse. Never eaten at Lee's Steakhouse. Called Steakhouse. Yeehaw. Yeah. So for people yeah. don't know, Beck and I grew up like in towns like forty miles apart from each other. Yeah. Like, really and our small. moms went to high school together. Yeah. Really small, shitty towns. And I went to high school with your cousins, right? Yes, yeah. all of them. All so, of them. hundred of them. Have you guys known each other the longest, or did you know anyone else at Rooster Teeth first? Um, or did I'm, you all just meet at the same time? We all met mostly at the same time, but I did meet Gus when I was little. I just didn't know Yeah, it. we didn't remember. We met, we met when we were like eight or something. You're implying that I'm your age. I am not. <laughs> you were eight <laughs> and I was two. Gus just had his birthday, too. <laughs> I just had my birthday. This is uh, my birthday present yeah. from Megan It's the only present. No, Esther got me a present. It's so, only present do you like what I said to you on your birthday? Yeah, I did. What did you say to him? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect birthday message for me. I knew I'm... you'd appreciate it. James from Funhouse sent me a Slack that was like, I know you well enough to know you would prefer a private well-wishing for your birthday <laughs> rather than a, a public one on social media, so happy birthday. And I was like, James, you probably know me better than most other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we know you well enough that we could fuck with you yeah. and make your birthday something you don't want it to be. A public spectacle. I just Is that what you did? Yeah, I tweeted uh, a bunch of pictures of me and Gus hanging out, being friends together. That was good. No, I'm looking just... miserable. No, he was looking like was he always normal. does around yep. me. <laughs> Man, ever since my last pancake, that looks repulsive, what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like after you have sex, you, <laughs> you don't want you don't want to watch porn. It's like, ugh, gross. Yeah. I don't wanna... <laughs> and one of them has also peanut butter chips. Oh, thank you. I got you. I got you, Nick. Was that Nick who said that? Yeah. So, what are the audience making? Are they are they doing pancakes at home? I see a lot of I pancakes. Picture, I can't. Yeah. I can't. I want to. I want. I think we should do an award for the the craziest pancake. Could anyone in the control room uh, get us some pancake footage? Make pancake the coverage? rule that beautiful pancake uh, footage. That's oh. not a pancake. Oh. Pancake made in a rice cooker. Wait, what? It's like that a, looks amazing. It's like a pancake. That's a little rice cooker. Good one, Gavin. That's real well, cute. Well, I mean, it looks like a... <laughs> Shut up. My mind's kind of blown. <laughs> I bet it's that like is a same gross. word. It looks like a bun of. Love. So you want what do you want? Do you want someone to make something in particular or you want No, I just want to see what people are oh, up to. Okay. That looks like a mess. What is, what is that? Choco Those look more chocolate like crepes. vanilla swirl with butterscotch, white chocolate with raspberry jam. Pe peep peep, peep Oreo. A peep. That's pancake. a lot of ingredients, my friend. That's that looks, yeah, peep Oreo that. with marshmallow fluff sounds like that's worse for you than the one you just ate. Yeah. <laughs> Probably right. I'm yeah, impressed that, that the control room <laughs> got those so quickly that they were ready for it. Do you, you, you want to make a request for someone to make something that's watching? Hey, oh, yeah, yeah. DFW. It's a whole kitchen. It's a pancake party. I so love we, we can together. request one? Request one. Request the audience make one. 
I want a grape and chip. Like potato Wait, like chip or French, French fry? fry? French fry. Grape and French You're fry. In America, Gavin. Egg Sam. Uh, oh God. <laughs> <pancake>. <laughs> Wait. Grape, grape, chip, fries. What was the other one I said? Egg. Pancake. Grape, fries, That's and egg. So and bonus points for how you present the egg. Okay. What are we, we going to give a prize? Should we give some, some if anybody makes there. that, should we give them a prize? Yeah, we'll give them sponsorship. First, first membership. membership? But they're already first members if they're watching this live right now anyway. <laughs> Good point. Uh, we'll take it away. <laughs> <laughs> because apparently you need more uh, things to do in life than finding chips, grapes, and eggs to put in your butt. Uh, chips. What? How long have you lived in America? Chips. Yeah, come on. I, look, some stuff I adjust to, cultural differences, some stuff is impossible. Like stuff that is, the, is two different things. Like a Stop chip and a crisp. Them. I can't swap those all over the place, chip can I? You say French fry and chip. Like the fact that a Mars bar is a Milky Way, and a Milky Way is a Three Musketeers bar. I'm never going to change they don't the... have Mars bars here. You do, yeah. it's a Milky yeah, Way. Yeah, Wait, we have- What? No, it's not. Mars I don't think here, we do. We? A Mars like a, bar- There's some at HEB because it's like international food. If you uh, bite a Mars bar and an American Milky Way, they're the same thing. It's nougat. Do that again. Yeah. Do that again. I fucking- and I don't like any of those, by the way. Milky Way, Three Musketeers. I could do without Mar the love it. Yeah. Ugh, gross. Snickers is Snickers there, which is good. Do you guys ever have uh, Aero Bars? Never heard of those. I see Basically. them. They're like the white packaging. Yeah, with like yeah. the bubbly. They're the know, bubble things. There's like you interior. put it in your mouth and it like, has bubbles and you let it melt and you feel the bubbles. The Aero Balls are good. It's a little packet of balls. 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 So what is it? Like Kit Kat in the US is made by Hershey. But a Kit Kat everywhere else outside the US is made by Nestle. Nestle yeah. Is that how it works? Really? Oh, do yeah. they lose the rights to it or do they sell it off? <laughs> no, it's like, no, that's just the way. They just saw and a it's Kit, still Kat, called like, Kit Kat. Well, yeah, it's still called Kit Kat. So if you get an inner, a Kit Kat anywhere other than the US, Kit Kats are good. The well, packaging. Kit Kats are good in the US too, but nah. it's like even better when you get them yeah. like internationally. Oh, and also molasses is treacle. Tre treacle? Treacle. You're making, he's making that up. No, it's true. T R E A. -C -L -E? He goes, oh, this is just treacle. And I was like, I don't know what that is. Looked it up on Google. And it said, uh, treacle, the UK term or British term for molasses, Yeah, I think was the exact definition. Damn. I was just asking Gavin before the podcast, when he goes to the bathroom, what's the thing that he pees in? And it is a what? Cup. No. <laughs> <laughs> Comply. Urinal. And what comes out when you pee? Urine. So isn't it a urinal? I mean, on paper, yes. Language but, doesn't uh, make any sense. It really doesn't. Language is dumb. The thing that I've always thought was funny, you know uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups? Mm -hmm. Or just Reese's in general? It's Reese's in the States, it's Reese in Canada. It's Reese, Reese Peanut Butter Cups. So is it a they Reese don't have piece? the apostrophe S There's on? no apostrophe it's not S in Canada. Is it, is it one piece in a Reese piece? No, it's it the Reese's, exact same Reese's product pieces? and it's, it's Reese presented the pieces? same way. Is it a Reese's different pieces. logo? Like same It might be Reese's piece? Pieces, but it's Reese Peanut Butter Cups. Weird. Huh. Okay, that's, uh, that's Tim G, that's TPG. You want, He's you here want for pancakes. Pancake. I love a pancake. That'd be great. Me, well, it's gonna uh, be about twenty minutes. <laughs> hey, there's some treacle. treacle. The griddle's Lyle. getting a little Lyle's cold. Gross. This one's acting up. That so. looks like something you should not eat. It also, the name Lyle. How British is that too? <laughs> Lyle's treacle. And Lyle's like treacle. treacle. Um, so, like, whenever I have a question about a spelling of a word or like proper <laughs> grammar. I always text Becca. I feel like 95% of the text exchanges I have with Becca are, is this grammatically correct? <laughs> Becca will rant on Facebook about people's grammatical choices. I'm so Just happy like she yelling does. at the world. This is, there's an apostrophe there, you idiots. Are you talking about my recent post about Nordstrom? Oh. No, I'm just, just in general. <laughs> what did you post about them? It's Nordstrom, not Nordstrom's. Yep. Also, yeah. you know what I realized recently? There's a church nearby our office called Promise Land. Mm -hmm. You know what's actually promised land is the correct term for yeah. that? I didn't know that. It's the land that was promised to I us. I always thought it was the promised land, like the land of oh. promise. Mm. I see that. I, I, didn't, I was not correct. <laughs> <laughs> My parents corrected me. What's your most annoying... Like what? Do you, what most annoys you in grammar that people do? Like people's mistakes. You should watch Always Open on Thursday and find out. <laughs> oh, right. It's true. We do talk about pet peeves. <clears throat> um, you posted a, a poll too on your Twitter that was like. There's some okay. In the back yes. There. You're you're locking in on one that is major. And Gus, you actually committed this crime earlier in the podcast. What? I didn't say anything. Uh, the abuse of the word I. Like oh. for me. The word me needs a new PR agent because it is missing yeah. out on all sorts thing. of work and opportunities to the so word I. So when everyone I. Say, says like Who someone said it? and I. Tim? Yeah, so like 
Do you want a pancake? I would say Barbara and I went to the store, but do you want to go to the store with Barbara and me? Yeah, because it's it should work if you take away the right. Barbara. So like a lot of people would say, do you want to go to the store with Barbara and I? But if you take out the Barbara and and say, do you want to go to the store with I? That sounds weird <laughs> as hell. It should be me. I mean, it sounds weird, but it's I wouldn't say it's worth getting all riled up over. Oh, yeah, oh it's, it's worth it. It's like... <laughs> Because it's systemic, and I know it's getting worse and worse. I notice it all the time. Every show, every scripted TV show uses it wrong, and it's becoming so acceptable that it's going to become the rule, and that Oh, you just don't want it to be like the woe thing. Yeah, or like like whom. Whom's obsolete. You don't care if you use who in place of whom these days. And, you know, I am guilty. Like, I should be if I'm going to be... Ain't all about that. I should care about that. or whose versus whose, like W H O S E. Oh, yeah, but that's a, that's a real. W-H-O that's just like two like, different words, though. That's yeah, like, but I know, like, but it's with an apostrophe. I don't think is. anything bothers me more than could of. Yeah, oh. that's the worst one. When people could of, could of, because people think it's like could apostrophe the e could have, but people put could o f. <laughs> yeah, or would have should have. I dated a guy who did that, and it. Like I would have broken three, up with three him months instantly. in. I was like, I have to, I have to talk to you about this. <laughs> <laughs> Did I come to America that week? <laughs> no, Let's, you would have been like, I think, eleven years old. Texting. Oh. <laughs> Let's talk about texting in general and how that's ruining society. Ow. After I read this, uh, I remind everyone: this episode of the podcast is brought to you by Me Undies. You have perfected your wardrobe, but what about the stuff not everybody gets to see? That's where Me Undies comes in. They're seriously soft, feel-good undies delivered right to your door. MeUndies are designed in LA, made from sustainably sourced micro-modal, a fabric three times softer than cotton. MeUndies softer than soft. Lux undies come in ever-changing selection of classic colors, bold shades, and adventurous patterns, so you can tailor your undies to your personal style. And guess what? You can save time and money each month with a monthly subscription. If you're not ready for a subscription, that's okay. You can still save, it's because MeUndies is offering you 20% off your first pair. Just use our special URL, it's MeUndies.com slash Roosterteeth, get 20% off your first pair. So go ahead, revamp your underwear drawer, you deserve it. That's MeUndies.com slash Roosterteeth, MeUndies.com slash Roosterteeth. Finally got on that subscription plan, so happy, underwear just show up once a month. I got I'm mine on today. I'm wearing some too, uh, it's Ow. too far deep in here though. I got the, uh, whip it out. <laughs> Got, what, some oh, of we were in the same Ooh. color. Yeah. Oh, no, yours, no is yours is green. Wait. Adventurous. See, normally green. people don't get to see underwear. Now they get two. Now they get two. Dino. Oh, so I blame all of this on millennials and their damn texting. <laughs> okay. You fucking millennials and your texting. We're all millennials here, Gus. You fucking millennials and your texting. <laughs> it's like all this, all this shorthand shit. Is driving me crazy. You are the letter U and the letter R. I feel it's like not people don't really do that anymore. I think it's, yeah. I think it's like my become, dad's more guilty of that, that than like I am. T9 days. I think it's yeah. going in the opposite direction. I think people are spelling things out now more than ever. I think what's happening more now than ever is dictation. And so mm. you're starting Fucking to pick dictation. up on weird patterns in people's I think it's, speech. I think it's old Very people true. like you trying to catch up with us millennials by abbreviating your words. Oh, I don't do. Sh- I don't abbreviate shit. Look at our text conversation. I don't, I don't abbreviate shit. I spill everything out the right way. You, you gonna tag in here? Uh, do you want me to tag in or want me to sit in? What I, are heard we the, I heard that you're shitty at pancakes. Look at this. What are you talking about? He's, he's, he's gotten, gotten whoa. A lot, Jesus Christ. That was. It's gotten a lot better. Uh, has it gotten better? Yeah, I think we were having some trouble with this. Been, you want a mic? That's been, yeah. You want a mic? Do you want Over a rub, rub mic? Thank you. I need we, to text we're having Michael trouble real with this quick. Griddle. He's probably wondering where the hell I am. What? That thing. It smells like. Antiseptic. What do you guys do? Like sterilize these things? What, isn't that a good thing if it smells clean? It smells weird, doesn't it? I would not have done that. See, I feel like that's what Bernie does. He's like, doesn't this smell weird? And yeah. then you go to smell it and he fucking jabs you, you in will, the nose. You, that's what I was going to do, but he took it out of my yeah. hand. So. <laughs> Were you going to ram it in my throat? <laughs> I was just going to jam it in your face, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you, when you Take accepted control that. Take the like, shop before you sniff. All right. <laughs> what are you doing? So it sounds like an exciting podcast where you're discussing grammar. That seems like a really well, perfect is on. <laughs> Beck is on. What else are you going to talk about? Hey, Dogs uh, and grammar. you were an hour late, so. I was. Mm-hmm. See, your own fault. I fought for the podcast to be moved to five o'clock forever, and then this thing got, it's it's Sophie's fault. Gavin, back me up. Yeah, she's, Sophie's an she's asshole. She's the worst. So is this Sophie's yeah. choice? This was Sophie's choice. She wanted me to do this event, but she booked it before Gus finally broke and moved the podcast to five o'clock, and then I was boned. So apparently mm-hmm. you tried to get it changed to six, and Gus just said no. Yeah, Gus said no. Screw you. you you're the reason you're not the pancake... podcast. I am. It's true. I know, <laughs> but he's he the reason the my pan- pancake podcast is doing terribly now. What? I mean, across the pancake board. cam? Look at this. Look at these fucking cakes here. 
Now they look what good. How are you leaving them on there so long? What are you doing? The grills it's... are not working right. They're... Oh, they're fine. They're great. They're great. All right, make them make them a, a raw pancake. We had the uh, the first. Wanna, uh, who had the chocolate chip peanut butter? We Get had burrito up. earlier. Oh, I got a oh, little ottoman back here. Let's sit back here. Why don't you just sit in the chair? Because Beck is there in the chair. What, well, are you what do you mean? About? Like this, what this is gentleman, Bernie? Just kick her out. I can yeah. sit on this little poof. No, no. I got I got word on Twitter on that Beck is more popular than I am. So. <laughs> oh yeah. This is this isn't creepy at all. I feel like a dad on the chaperone. No, you're like you're like the neighbor from Home Improvement. A weird. Sitcom we're on right now. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Bernie looks like he's a host, doesn't he? Like he's who's the neighbor on Home Improvement? Uh, Wilson. Well, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you home, asking me that? Home Improvement. Because I don't know the answer. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, Gus, did you see the vlog that I put out? I feel like no. I, I feel like I haven't been here in a while. It's been a while since I've been here. Were you here last week? I don't know. I can't remember. No, it was no last week was pre-taped. Oh, fuck that. Pre-taped, yeah. So then before that, the 13th was the last time you were here. Did you see all the problems that I had in New Zealand with the go-round and everything else where they had to yeah. fly down? I don't understand oh, how you were, life. your plane took off again go and ahead. you went to a different airport. I was four feet above the ground. We were landing in Wellington. We were coming down, 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 down. We were four feet above the ground and you're just waiting for the wheels to touch. All of a sudden the plane takes off again, which has happened to me before. There was some kind of conditions. Wellington is pretty windy. And we went to circle back around. We circled like three or four times. And then the pilot goes, eh, we're going to run out of fuel if we keep circling. So we're going to go get fuel somewhere else. So we flew to the, a different island to go get fuel. <laughs> and I was like, if we don't have enough fuel to circle, how do we have enough fuel to go to a different Because you're landing, so you're just going to coast down. You're going to glide down. Dear Lord. that's. I'm glad I didn't think about so that. So what ended up happening? Uh, we just got super delayed. Just, it's like everything else in the airline. It's like you bitch and bitch and bitch about so it, but then I, you're just a little bit late. What I want to know, from the moment where you have almost landed... Is that for me? Yeah, thank you. you. What, what is it? It's just plain. It's just a pancake. It's just a pancake. <laughs> you didn't ask for anything. What do you want? It's a pancake. Uh, we got strawberries, we got dubs? blackberries, we got... Have some of these. Sliced blueberries. <laughs> Why do we have sliced... Stop it, stop it. Because someone's a serial killer. Don't ruin Pancake <laughs> Tuesday. It's a choking hazard. Uh, I will take one with, with chocolate chips and peanut butter chips. Chocolate chips and peanut butter chips. What are you, what are you oh laughing about over there, Barb? Oh, you missed Gavin's uh, burrito pancake. It was amazing. It was revolutionary. Oh, you can, it's still in the trash. It's still like rising on me a little bit. <laughs> I see it. I Here. see it. I got you. No, I wanted an excuse to eat it with my hands. You know what? I'm going to do it anyway. Forget it. So You're what is adult. the scariest takeoff or landing you've ever had on a plane? Takeoff for me was actually just this last week out of LA. They had a lot of storms coming in, and it was probably the worst turbulence I've ever had on any plane in my life. Uh, it was, like usually when a plane is experiencing turbulence, it's like a little bumpy and shaky. Yeah. This felt like it was dropping for like 10 seconds at a time. Really? People were screaming. Oh, oh nice. No. <gasps> and I was just clutching the armrest, just like you know white knuckling them. I had an interesting landing in Austin. They were like, they came on. Interesting takeoff in LA too, jackass. Go ahead. No, wow. we'll tell that after. No, what happened? No well, anyway, idea. my landing in Austin of that flight. Fucker. Uh, they came on and said, we're actually trying a different technique for this landing. What does that approach. mean? What is that? What? Um, automated approach. Upside so down. We're, what? So we're going to need everyone's electronic devices off. Every single one. Flight mode doesn't work. Turn off all your phones. We're going to be checking everyone's phones. Turn them off. What? What kind of? And then of... we landed like normal. Like a beta and test. No one said anything. I was just like, "What was that? Like, they didn't want us to communicate. What was it? What was it for?" Well, they were doing like some kind of guided landing, I think. Is yeah, what it but sounds like flight mode doesn't work. Is it like the, the like the batteries are bad? No, they're, hey, dog. <laughs> dog is destroying everything. Back just there. yeah, that's a the, Dig in the crew's going to be upset about that. Beat it. It was really scary. I thought yeah. like we were in some trouble, and they just didn't want people calling anyone. Like. Warning their families. <laughs> warning their families, saying goodbye to their families. Yeah. They didn't want that. It's it's really annoying to have to turn your phone so off. What does it you mean? You can't quickly turn it back on again. What, one of the worst. Oh, how horrible! As opposed to crashing into the ground and dying. Well, if if it was going down, I quickly want to whip my phone out and call someone and say peace. I went I, five like, minutes. I couldn't send anyone an emoji. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think the worst turbulence I ever had was with you. It was one of the times we went down to New Zealand. I was snoring. And uh, it was well, like you're describing, where like it's like ten seconds at a time, and like the whole and plane shaking, shaking violently. Also back and, and it lasted for like, it, see, it it must have lasted for about an hour. Like it just kept going and going, and I needed to piss so bad. But like, the turbulence was so terrible, like I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. It's fine. It's like I'm gonna piss my pants if I don't get up right now. Yeah. It's like I got up and like the whole thing's shaking. People are screaming at me to sit down, so I like make my way to the bathroom. 
and I piss. People or the flight attendants? The flight attendants. Okay. Uh, they were yelling I, I at you piss. and you just ignored them? I had to piss. I was going to piss my pants. Breaking so I piss, the law. But like the, the turbulence is so bad that I can't stand up again from the toilet. Like I'm stuck on the toilet waiting. So I'm there for several minutes. You sat down to piss? Bernie turns oh, well, to my shaking. wife and goes, he's been in there a long time. You should go check on him. Oh, God. And then you made her nervous, so that she went back to try to find me and check on me. And we like, and we somehow missed each other around the galley. Oh <laughs> Did my you really? God. That's awesome. She should be nervous. You're gone for that long. You're the fucking meal ticket. Come on. So what happened on your takeoff? <sighs> Fucker. All right. So I don't know. Okay. Before this story starts, I'm not taking any blame for anything that happened in this story. I, 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 was just, I don't know. I don't know that that's true. But let's find. out. I was out. just being a passenger on let's a plane. Let's put the story out there and see what people have to say. Go for it. So we, Gavin and I, spent beautiful a uh, weekend in L.A. And we extended our trip <clears throat> by one day at the last minute, which is always a pain in the ass. And Gavin's a huge pain in the ass because yeah, I mean, in general, in or here's all the things that came with extending the trip. I had to rebook tickets. I had to book another night of hotel for myself, but I'm also with Gavin. So guess what I had to do? Book his, book his fucking hotel we as well. We both went to the desk and we both booked another room. It was individual. So then I also had to extend the car. None of these things Gavin did. None yeah, of these. I had to do I'm all of those things. Sorry for not extending the car or extending the flight, which was booked in your name. Fight, okay, okay, fight, okay. fight. What you could have you could have rebooked under your own name and rebooked mine at the same time. I will show you a text. I said, "Do you want me to book my own flight separately?" And you said, "We're on the same itinerary." That's I'll me knowing better. That's just like you're not going to help in any possible way. Uh, Barbara, am I out of line here? That's no, kind of you're a, absolutely not out of line. Thank, thank you. Kind of a point for Gavin. This Gavin is, does have a this point is here. This how Bernie works. Uh, um, I'm on, is that I'm on works? team Bernie here. Bernie's like, "Don't help me! Don't help me!" So I can be annoyed at you later. <laughs> not that trying to be helpful. You shove that up your ass. <laughs> Let me tell you, Gavin wasn't helpful. So we get to LAX. We return our car, we get on the shuttle bus, we come to the, the terminal, the fucking busiest day of the year, Gus. I don't know what's going on, but the terminal- because a lot of people couldn't get out of LA before that. Because of the rain? Yeah. It was like- it was storming. Security was probably six times longer than I've ever seen it in my life. Did on, it on affect you guys because you have TSA? Let me tell you how it affected us. <laughs> so I was also making a phone call at the time. I ended up like six or seven people behind Gavin in the security line, uh -huh. Gavin goes through the, it was, and it was a cluster in there. There was one TSA agent, it seemed like, doing the whole thing. Gavin makes it through the metal detector. The moment Gavin gets through, it just turned into, like, a Charlie Chaplin movie. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Everything started to go wrong. There was, like, eight people that came up in, in wheelchairs, the older <laughs> people, and they just, like, bumped everybody back. So that they could put those. In your line. Yes. And we're all going through the same metal detector to the point where all of us who were waiting, literally, I'm the fifth person in line to try to go through the metal detector. We start yelling at the TSA agent through the metal detector, like, just let us go through. Just and here's what makes this worse before we even got to that point. The moment I set foot in the airport, we were boarding in three minutes. Mm -hmm. Like, that's how late we Why were. Why did oh you God. guys do that? I don't know. <laughs> so that's that's it's, problem we, uh, number one. We were, it's just travel time and everything. And look, we're professional travelers. You keep your mouth shut. Yeah. And then what happened? So did you make your flight? Gavin you made the plane. plane. I didn't make the plane. Oh, what? professional travelers. Yep. <laughs> he made the plane. Went on safely, sat in a seat. They shut the the jetway, and I was I was out. I was it on took the us. Outs. It took me like twenty five wow. minutes to get through security. We'd already started boarding like the moment we set foot in there. So I got through, ran to the plane. I was like, oh, there's actually still people on the jetway. There was like eight people. So I was just got in the back. I went on and I was like, I text Bunny, I was like, there's still people on the jetway, you're good. Nope, mean, and I know that's not true, because meanwhile, I'm still in position five out of five, waiting to get through this metal detector, with like oh a thousand God. people behind me. And you still I assumed he was right behind me. Yeah, I was like, these motherfuckers. And then, and then I was just like, on my phone, and then the door shut, and they were like, alright, we're taking off. I was like, did you go by me? And I didn't see, and I, I was like, burning. did you make it? There you go, buddy. Thank you, Gus. That look, that's a good looking pancake. Thank I take you. back what I said. I appreciate He's it. People, better. people were being, uh... Very cruel to you. They were. I did mess up. Very so highly I, critical. I had never made a pancake before today. What's wrong with you? What kind of humans never made a pancake? And the, oh, I, I had some really, really bad ones before we started uh, the cameras up. You made like a, a shredded. This isn't a human. Though. Shredded. Shredded. I ate one that was still hey, wet batter. Give me that it was. It, it was. It was pancake ish. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the Here's the downfall to why you missed the flight, right? Go fuck yourself. Because I traveled with a British canit. Who we wouldn't said, book himself hey, and got on the plane without any regard. We said, <laughs> would you want me to wait for you? <laughs> I'll just not get on the plane because you didn't make it. Why would I do that? Gavin, I do not know. You, of course, you shouldn't wait for me. Oh. But yeah, absolutely, you should have waited. That's how you should have. Here's you why you should have like realized 
My mentor for my entire career is following me. I'm his dedicated <laughs> hey, protege. He's your mentor. And I, <laughs> how can how can that I is possibly the you've ever said on the how can I uh, how can I ever get on a plane without him? I assume you're right I behind owe him, him because you were right behind me. And also, we had arranged to meet at 7 a.m. in the lobby. Go ahead. What time I was your flight? At 8:30, I think. Oof. You were meeting at, at 7 a.m. in okay. LA. That would have been fine. Uh, at like. 6.50, I was already ready, ready to go, and I was like, hey, I'm ready if you want to leave earlier. Heard nothing. I was like, all right, I guess we're leaving at 7. Went down And you still have to return lobby. the rental car, right? Yep. Yep. Went down to the lobby at 7, heard stop, nothing. Stop doing logistics over there. 7.15, he's just like, hey, let's go. He just strolls down like, what's up, let's go, let's get it on. For an 8.30 In flight. my defense, I was very busy in my hotel room losing everything I own, apparently. <laughs> he left. I lost, I lost another car key, oh, which then magically God. appeared on my desk at home. I, that really kind of freaked Wait, me out a little rental bit. rental car? No, my car for here, I just bring my key with me sometimes, and if you ever leave it anywhere, it's, it's just people throw it away, because it doesn't look like a car key. It's a little race toy. car. I, I, then on the shuttle bus on the way in from the, in the rental car parking lot, I left my coat, and I really like that coat. On the flight Wait, to Wait, did you LA, leave it? Leave it? It's gone? I left it on thing. No, because I missed my flight, I found it. I went <laughs> well, back to Hertz and got it. Silver lining. So, Silver lining. It all worked out. That would have been the there. second time you forgot that coat somewhere. Yeah, I know. you were there on the flight to LA where he left his coat on the plane. He was like, oh, I left my coat. I love yeah. that coat. Yeah. We don't wear coats. You, you lose somewhere. things on planes. Remember, you, you, one time, we were on a flight, and uh, you had your waiting ring, and you did this. Oh, yeah. And then, boom, it was gone. <laughs> it was gone. <laughs> It was like, where'd it, it go? It disappeared. Where, where is it? You're looking through the seat, looking on the floor, it was just gone. Yeah. It was like an extra dimensional portal away. opened up and swallowed it. It was like the first five minutes of Lord of the Rings, when the, you know, it's just like the <laughs> ring comes off and then it disappears for a thousand years. It was That's gone. what it was. And then I, that marriage ended. That's why I, I, I still Fucking remember. Downer. I still yeah, remember. Good call. I had to remind Bernie every time we got out of the car to lock that car. Because you're used to just walking away from your car and just locking <laughs> no, on. No, just lock it. Turn it off. Turn it off. Because <laughs> I can walk away from a car that's on with the keys in it. But my, <laughs> like, our bags were in that car. Because we flew into LA, you got the rental car, and then we went straight to what we had to do that day. So all of our baggage, including like my wallet and all that shit, was in the car. And I was like, I did Bernie lock the car when we left? I think the, the, the way to do it is if you travel with Bernie, don't travel with anything that you like, just in case. We well, are traveling like, with Bernie, so I kind of like myself. The way there. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Well, the thing about Gavin, we've talked about this before, but we just get so much stupider around each other. When we it's travel. worrying. It is. Like it's yeah. funny, but around we are each other. dumb as a like a bag of rocks. And this is just the latest example. We've boarded hundreds of planes, hundreds of planes. I was gonna be so mad at you because that would have been the first flight I ever missed. Oh really? I what? made it by about thirty seconds. You've never missed a flight. Never. Wow. Because I always leave on time. Yeah. Oh, I've listen. missed one. <laughs> listen, you you don't drive. <laughs> you you you. Yet force... somehow I always make it on time. No, well, I can't be held so responsible for that. We have a a couple of entries in your contest, Gavin. Oh, do you know about oh. this birdie birth? Go ahead. Uh, mm -hmm. I've I put out the order for a custom pancake that contains a chip, an egg, and a grape. A chip, chip, chip as in French fries. Yeah, I got you. An egg and a grape? Yeah. It's gonna be like a Monte Cristo or something. Oh. Oh, so oh, people, people are making wow. it at home. <laughs> I don't even know. Is that even a pancake? What grape? Grape? I I, what's the mouth? I don't know. That? I'm I think that's a French chip. chip. That's Look a French fry. Oh, yeah, yeah. It looks like a little carrot. And they yeah, use... that's like a plum. That's that's not a grape. Do we have, no, another, I think we have another one, right? It's tiny. It's, it's tiny. It's like this size. All right, that one's good. That one's very good. That's probably like a six out of ten. He's being kind. That was awful. You're terrible. No, that guy did that with Pancakes are hard to make. How long? <laughs> the mom was there. Oh, look at chips. The, the chips are actually chips potato good. chips. Look at this thing's like plated and everything. Wow. A sol what's a soldier egg? Look, uh, you're going to compare. Egg. Look at what Sebastian yeah. does here. He has plated everything properly. Yeah, That's a they, fucking presentation. You can't eat that. It's an egg with a shell on it. You said egg. Yeah. You said egg. I said, well, I did say egg. Click you, on the, you, let's, see the, let's see that one bigger. I don't, uh, that was a pretty small image. I don't know if we can really get it. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, he requested a separate egg. I mean, what is that? Yeah, I not, didn't. Yeah, let's not loop all this shit. He said with an egg. Th we're talking about toppings. Okay, okay. I love the way you say toppings. So just those two? Yeah, that's all we have okay. so far. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. So, Within 20 minutes? Speaking you, of, uh, Gavin, who minutes? are you picking for your contest there? Who I mean, there for, of the two entries? Is that the only two entries? That's I'll, it so far. I think I'll wait, just in case another one comes in. Yeah, keep sending us our way. Kinda sending them our keep way. Keep wasting no, food at home. What do you want? It's, it's a, a challenge. challenge. Not a, not a contest. Thank you. Thank you. Legality reasons. And we're going to take away the uh, first membership of the winner. So, 
Gus, we had a little bit of a thing that happened. You know, Sophie, who does PR for us, she's oh, she's a sweetheart. Very nice lady. And what? she's been in some of the vlogs. She's sassy. She's sassy, but we all like her. Yeah, I mean, she's good. like, yeah, good. you don't want to piss her off for sure. Yeah, yeah. I think she's sure, sassy uh, because she's getting comfortable here. Yeah. So she feels like she can be sassy. It's also great because she's really good at her job. Yeah. That's also a really good thing. Like when we went to the uh, the wrong place. Is that what you were going to say? I heard about this. No. <laughs> no. We went to the wrong Santa Monica. For, whoa, what does that mean? The wrong Wilshire Boulevard. Well, we went to the yeah. wrong Wilshire Boulevard in LA. In so we're standing outside like a warehouse trying to like knock on the door to go in for an interview <laughs> with Time Magazine. No, well, the I was thing like, I don't that, think this is the right place. Well, the thing that turned us off, we got there and I looked at the building. It's probably a three or four floor building. And she says, okay, it's on the 17th floor. And we look at that building and we're like, that Markovich, does Markovich. not have more than four floors. And then well, are you guys, uh, did you guys, you must have told the story about the, the thing we witnessed when we pulled up there too, right? No, not yet, actually. Oh my god, I cannot tell it. So, Gus, we witnessed a robbery. What? Yeah, it was like out of a movie, Daylight Becca. robbery. Wait, beyond what happened to Sophie? No, no yeah. Right, oh yeah, robbery. that's where I'm getting to that story. <laughs> we yeah. pulled up in uh, Bernie's rental car. And there was a guy chasing a girl. No way. A guy, he was wearing an apron, so he was clearly from like some type of restaurant. Yep. Chasing this girl. I think she had like dreadlocks. Like she looked like a. She was. She was a character. Like a delinquent. <laughs> you know those people with dreadlocks. Yeah, yeah you vagabond. can't trust them. And the, she had a, a wad full of cash in her hand. And money was flying everywhere. Yeah, no like way. dollar bills. It's like out of a movie. She, yeah, yeah, it was like was. payday. She was shedding money everywhere. And I then think I think she, she, just she like, grabbed the tip jar or something. She just like reached in or something like a big load of money by the. Uh... But then I saw her throw some of it at the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think to try to get him to like your your effort, <laughs> pick some of it up. And then we felt bad that this guy lost money to this person because money was scattered all over the street. And uh, so we decided, oh, we got some time to kill since we went to the wrong location. <laughs> and we now have an hour to kill before our next appointment. So we went into his juice bar to get juice. What was the name of the bar? <laughs> what was the name of the juice bar? <laughs> it was being uh, served here. Yeah, it's like juice served here, I think was the name of it. That is not the name of the place. I is think it's it called here? juice served here. Or juice served. I didn't think that was the name anyway, of it. Anyway, it was a very is... pretentious juice bar in LA. I'm sure you can picture it, right? I think okay. that was just a sign in the building. I know, but... but the, the problem with this place, Gus, it would have infuriated you, because Gavin and I figured out, they don't make any juice there. They just have coolers with the bottles of juice in it. So then you order off the menu, and a guy literally turns around, opens the cooler, picks the bottle of juice out, and hands it to you. What and the then hell? It. It's like a human vending machine, basically. That sounds so And they were stupid. missing a whole bunch of stuff, because they're like, oh, our shipment hasn't come in yet of our bottles. <laughs> like, so like, well, can you make it? It's like, we don't make juice. Yeah, what you... <laughs> juice is served here. Juice <laughs> is not made here. <laughs> you want juice made here across town. Yeah. They're all wearing aprons, oh and like they, they look, they have like butcher block and everything. Like It's this huge production, but they're just handing you juice. Yeah, you and want, then Barbara? you have to tip them. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, Barbara? Uh, let's do some uh, so peanut butter. Do a big B. Right. There we go. Peanut butter Becca. and chocolate. There it Chips. is. Try that's it. The real robbery was inside the store. <laughs> yeah, it's called Juice Served Here. Oh my! It's the name of the place. I know. I didn't <laughs> realize. Yeah. Juice I mean, here. very emphasis. This on is carbs. a little lumpy. Yeah. I'm not going to serve you this one. Oh, thanks. No, Gus. it's fine. It's good. It'll work it out. What? You have a lot more batter to go through. Do you want me to shake it up for you? What's the expiry date no. on that? I gotta, I gotta be involved. So somehow. you saw a robbery, and then did something else happen? You were gonna say? Oh, so anyway, so Sophie <laughs> was coming to L.A., and then she made the mistake of telling me red. that she she had a couple extra days of vacation. So after the trip, she was gonna take her vacation, and I was like, "Cool, where are you guys gonna go? Because you're in L.A., you can fly just about anywhere in the world. Right. Back me up on that, Gus. Right? Yeah. Anywhere from it's a LA. hub. And uh, she goes, "Oh no, we're just gonna be vacation in Los Angeles for four or five days." And I would not let that go because Los Angeles is not a vacation destination. You're on a beach, like Santa Monica. Or Who's something? going to? Who, she was not going to, go to the beach. Disneyland. You can go Disneyland is Anaheim. There, I know. There are things to like, see. It's the LA area. Okay. Like well, I mean, you could go and see the Hollywood the sign. It's a tourist place, isn't it? So I kept giving her grief on Facebook and everywhere about like LA not being a vacation destination. If you go to LA for for vacation, you're really you've done something wrong. You are a travel snob. My you, friend, dude, I, you are like I would love to go to New York. York. Los Angeles is different. But maybe for here, but for like for everyone else in the world, LA is a really yeah. Cool you, place yeah. To that's go. like okay, home yeah. for you at that the, point. What's Gus, it called? Let me ask you this: yeah. Would you ever go <laughs> to Dallas for vacation? Yeah, Dallas is not LA. <laughs> and no, so I would you're not. You're a snob. No, it's there's just, way, we have different levels. I'm a more refined more snob than you, but you're still a fucking snob. Way you're in the goddamn club. That's not the same at all. Dallas is not a destination. Could you imagine though? It's like I got four days of vacation. Better get up to fucking get over to Houston. <laughs> <laughs> so, so she's vacationing in L.A. She like, has this big vacation plan. I won't let it go. And I keep ridiculing her about it, and she's like, "Will you please just drop it?" The moment our trip is over, 
and she starts her vacation. She walks back to her car. It had been broken into and all of her stuff was gone. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God. It was like, I felt uh, so bad. We all felt so including bad. Including her and her boyfriend's laptop. Yeah. <sighs> and what they, a bo- nightmare. they both work in marketing. That is so, so like, marketing sweetly has a bunch naive, of though. Like, that is. Just, I know. I, I don't leave my stuff in my car ever. They also rented a car, but not from like a normal rental place they said it was like a very cheap shitty rental car that kept turning off airbnb (laughs) and breaking down (laughs) yeah it's like Hmm. the discount rental car we did that in the early days of rooster teeth you remember the name of that place there was like a a really shady alliance or something like that we once rented a car with no license plates you remember that (laughs) no it was like a black chrysler 300 and it had no license plates and they were like there's your car and we're like Shouldn't it have license plates in there. Nah. Not for what you're using. <laughs> Blood on the floorboard. <laughs> I was like, that, that's like a fucking crime car. Yep. <laughs> we could have gone committed any crime. By we design. Oh, such a shame. I felt so bad for her, especially when you're just starting out a she, vacation. She just doesn't deserve that. I know. Yeah. Really sucks. Do you think it's the same person who stole the um, tip jar? No. I don't. That'd be funny. <laughs> she like marked her. Following us around. Throwing laptops at you. Cased her and got it. Yeah. We were I mean, witnesses. We left our stuff in the car because we couldn't get into the hotel. Yep. It's always well, a pain in the ass. Like, checkout time is they, they kick you the fuck out of the hotel at 9 in the morning or whatever. You know, they're like, get out, get out, get out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> and then you can't check in until 3. What are they doing with that hotel room for six hours? What are they doing? Cleaning Nothing. It. Oh, bullshit. It doesn't take six hours to clean a hotel room. Well, they don't well, yeah, clean it takes you every six hours to cycle 12. through the whole hotel, all the occupied rooms. Nah, they need yeah. to figure that shit out. That's, that's, it's all wrong. It's all wrong. It is. There's like a window of time where it's pointless arriving anywhere. Also, I, afternoon. Are we at the point now where like all travel to is like everything's sold out? Remember when you used to get on a plane and it was like, oh, I know. One third of the seats are empty. Now they got people sitting on each other's shoulders. It's like, what have they done, Gus, in the last few years that has completely changed the algorithm for booking Optimizes the routes. Out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that, ba- <clears throat> airlines used to always <laughs> declare <laughs> bankruptcy as well. Like, it seemed like ba- airlines were going bankrupt every year or two. Airlines, you, but- you have not heard about that again <laughs> in like 15 years. Do you think this is more or less interesting than the grammar conversation? No, we always bitch about travel. Somehow, but uh, Sophie getting her stolen, her stuff stolen, and thereby proving me right. This is bad luck that with people getting stuff. That doesn't prove. That, that doesn't prove you right. Anywhere. I happen. heard there was an unsolved crime in New York last year. Oh, oh. Cool. yeah, because people never get their shit stolen in New York, right, Bernie? <laughs> I would. I would, listen. I, I, I vacation is is supposed to be in a nice place, not hell holes it's a like state Los of mind, Angeles Bernie. and New York. Vacation. You can have you can a vacation, vacation in your backyard. I can have a vacation in Austin. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I would fucking vacation. make fun of you for that, and that would be justified in making fun of you. A for vacation? That. What's the definition of vacation? I, I think it's different for you because oh, you're that's from. That's a good question. Does it? In... Yeah. It, well, it, there is no definition. Travel you and... submit to me on a subjective basis, and I let you know whether or not it's a vacation or not. That's it. <laughs> Give me a beer, would you? I will Please. not submit to you. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will judge your your plans. Don't you Fifty Shades of Grey me? That is not a uh, that so is, is not is, a vacation. Is, would you uh, like to open it? I would. Thank you. Is Mexico a vacation? Yeah. Yes. Why though? It's a, va- it's a vacation. Wait, which part of Mexico? Well, and what I'm saying oh. is it's a lot closer to here than I feel know, like, like Canada. vacation <laughs> is taking off of work or whatever responsibilities you have and like chilling. Yeah, that's why it's called a, vacation time. All right, you guys are taking this way too literally. Hours. So the weekend is a vacation. No. Hell yeah, it is. No, it's not because that's you're not typically working on the weekend. Like you're you still <laughs> speak for yourself. You're like, you're no kidding. No. I said typically. Wait, lays about. I work all day every day. You're still day. like participating in the routine you need to interrupt that in yes. some way shape or form that's why when you take days off it's called vacation time vacation days you have paid you vacation a weekend i don't take vacation well that's your own fault yes you do no. well, the last time you took a vacation yeah. Yeah, yeah. you were you spent some time in england <coughs> that wasn't for vacation that was, that was me getting a visa no you, you hung out a little i was hung out because i didn't have a passport i was yeah. waiting <laughs> there you go forced vacation yeah you think i took vacation days for that that was work should it be vacation? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> have you really never taken vacation time, Gav? No, have you? Yeah, of course. Oh. You're taking vacation? You go, to, you go to the UK all the time. Y'all, right now? Yeah, dude, like Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, yeah we, have, we, we have jobs I'm going to bring it up again. I'm telling everyone about this. You can fly to Japan right now to Tokyo from Dallas or Houston for 500 damn dollars. But why don't you go to Tokyo when yours? you can vacation in Dallas and hang out there? Uh, true, Come true. on, they got the round restaurant. Like yeah. Spins around. <laughs> so we could all break. go to Tokyo for like 2,500 bucks, the fourth a lot of us? Yeah. Round trip. Let's do it. On Dallas, pretty decent fl- I mean, from Dallas, pretty decent flight. Like, Today? One layover. Uh, Friday, I dare you Friday. to go to Tokyo today. 
broadcast. Y'all want to go to right. Tokyo? Want to do a podcast? What, are you talking be... about? what, what airline is this on? Del- yeah. <laughs> it's not some like Delta freaky weird airliner. Delta is pretty freaky and weird. <laughs> <laughs> you got to bring your own screws for the wing. You gotta, everyone's got to pitch Aww. in a little. Delta's the only airline where they've never they, they don't assign me a seat when they so go you're on gonna Delta. Meet your sugar like, daddy. Get a seat, don't yeah, they do. They, at Delta the gate, seat. they've assigned me seats. Wait. I don't fly Delta unless I'm an emergency. I hate that. They got great in-flight safety video. No, oh, you your Gavin face. It. So Michael's like really into the Delta world, and every time he flies, I ask him if he's seen you. He has Man. not seen you. Can we yeah. talk so I don't about Becca's anymore. questionable tweet? Did I, can I talk about the questionable? You can talk tweet? about oh. it. So Becca made a questionable tweet. By questionable, you but mean really shitty. I will say, I felt like it was a questionable. No, tweet. I, I saw where she was coming from. I, I will yeah, because you're a woman. That's why you what? get it. This is not a tweet that a guy wants to read. So you know what I'm talking about? Michael never said anything to me about it, and he calls me out on tweets. All the time. Does he? So if it bothered him, he would have said something. So the tweet, I'm going to paraphrase here. Okay. Which Let's is see. Becca. I'm curious to hear what this you're This is Becca is. tweeting. She said, I can't believe there was ever a time in my life when I dated assholes who didn't treat me well just because they were hot. Did I get it? Or don't date guys just because they're hot. Don't do I that. said, it's weird to think that there was a time in my life when I dated stupid asshole guys just because they were hot. Yeah. Right. That's a questionable tweet. It's not I, questionable at all. That's an absolute Gavin questionable What's tweet. What's questionable about it? Uh, I mean, I'd say it's questionable because you're currently with a guy. This is it, and it's like, but ladies, questioning or men his get appearance. You a guy there we who go. Does it all. That's, yeah, Michael's the, the whole complete package. What? But and he's a tweet, vegetarian. Your and tweet suggests that you're with. <laughs> There it is. Well, you left. There's only 140 oh, characters. Wow, y'all are fucking fast. So weird to think your time when I dated the dumbest shit as you. Cropped and everything. Not. Damn. I, I think I might have gotten closer <laughs> to your tweet than you did. Um, so. <laughs> no, not questionable at all. Well, Absolutely. You, if you're a dude, if Esther wrote that that tweet, you wouldn't be like, what, what is she saying? Well, why? Does it imply I, I that you're think, not hot? That's I would what it implies. That, um, excluded from that I mean, I conversation would say, altogether. Okay, I would you, say that it does imply that <clears throat> Michael's not hot, but also, who cares if that is the case? What, what, who cares if Michael's not hot? Well, I mean, Michael, by the way, Michael's fucking married. gorgeous. He's, a, point out. he's a little cutie pie. All right, so would you rather be hot? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> nice Period. or smart? What was the hot. other one? Hot, nice, or smart? Hot, because if you're hot, you don't know that you're not smart. When you're smart, you know you're not hot. Listen, Bernie, as yep. a hot and smart person. Go ahead. <laughs> I feel like I would package. rather be smart. I feel like you can't really make money with nice. You can make money with hot and smart. I know it's But then you can't even have friends. (laughs) Well, nice doesn't. We're we're all Americans here, and them too. There's no selling point to nice apart from like. What? Yeah. In like the business world. I did some uggo dudes who were nice. Nice guys finish last, and everyone knows that. Did some uggo dudes who were nice. (laughs) Uh, Nice guys do not finish last. You'd be like a nice waiter. You make a lot of money. Nice guys finish first because they're not usually with a woman, so they finish very quickly. Also, Michael. Bunny Good as hell. Lord. See, there it is, thing. Barb. He's there dry as hell. He's, he's, he's sarcastic. Dry. I'm yeah, just kidding. Yeah, Be me, a nice guy. Let me read this fuck, thing here. Fuck. I want to remind everyone, this episode of the podcast is also brought to you by Squarespace. A big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring us. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to create a website or online store. They have beautiful, award-winning designer templates, 24-7 customer service, and domains. If you've been thinking about starting your own website or online store, start your free trial today at squarespace.com slash roosterteeth. Enter offer code Rooster Teeth to get 10% off your first purchase. Make your next move with Squarespace. Like they said, go check it out. You can you can make your website. You can design it, see what it would look like, and decide if you want to try this, if you want to pay for the service. Highly recommend it. Go check it out. Super easy interface. Love it. Longtime sponsor, Squarespace. You made a circle, but you said square. Squarespace. It's hard to do. Is that your best square? I don't know. My, I, oh, I gouged oh, a chunk out of my knuckles, entry? so I can't really. That's bend great. Right. They're not on the pancake. What does it get? People are just plating it alongside it. It's I gotta mean, be... I feel like it's got to be on the pancake. That basically all they've got there is one grape on a pancake. I'm impressed how many people have French fries on demand. Well, I, I do. Know. I do and like grapes. the dinosaur. I do like the cookie jar. That's a dinosaur. Also, not gonna lie, I kind of really want eggs right now. <laughs> well, good thing you're not lying about it. Egg. Yeah. We're not living under the false it's pretense like, of Barbara not wanting eggs. That one had potential. <laughs> I, mean, I just had to get it out there, okay? <laughs> that one had potential, but I've got to get, I've got to disqualify because only one grape was on the thing. What? No, they had a bunch of, egg, yeah, of grapes. Yeah, there were a bunch of grapes. How Where's many it? were on the pancake? Oh, I mean, they were in the vicinity of the pancake. No. Oh, it's just grapes on the side. I mean, These are massive grapes that people have in their house. Or a really tiny pancake. You really don't get a sense that of scale That one says with the grape. RT, though. Are you? Is that extra bonus points? No. Barb, if if you're trying to do this, do you have French fries in your house? Chips? 
I do because Aaron came over and brought frozen French fries because he made homemade Big Macs one time. Okay. Oh. Do how you? do you make a Big Mac? What? What? You have, you have French fries you in your house? Learn how to make the special. I sauce. might. I have like a deep island. freeze in the garage. I Tater have a tots. More than that. I oh, have did a two you? Two year old man. Come on. I know. Well, you got. I've the, got a bunch of shit. The, the secret freezer is probably one of the best things. We yeah. Need to secret get. freezer. Yeah. yeah. Get a freezer. And put it in the put it in the garage. I, I usually mm. don't have French fries though. I don't tend to buy those for myself. So do you just not ever eat meat ever? All at right. Home? I eat meat all the time. You cook meat at home? No. Like not for Michael. Yeah. Like for lunch, I usually eat in secret. No, no. I mean, it's never been a thing. Like, have you ever been like with him intimately and needed a meat burp? <laughs> Answer the question. Yeah. <laughs> and did he throw it's up? Regular, it's a regular you, uh, question. Your your packet. Yeah, like I mean, he doesn't really. I mean, I think he'd be more pissed off just at the burp in general. He doesn't care oh, about really? the contents of the burp. Yeah, so he burps in your face. That would upset you, Gavin. Yeah. Nah. Sure. Do you ever mm-hmm. burp in your significant others' faces? No. No, no if she, burped, say if she burped to my face, I wouldn't be annoyed, though. I burp in Aaron's face all the time. Disrespectful. Not on purpose. <laughs> we you like just happen to, uh, to be that close to his, You're in the proximity of his face, and you burp? If I'm near Aaron, I'm in the proximity of his face, yes. We do <laughs> We do go for sneezes sometimes. Try and get the other one with a sneeze. It's pretty funny. Get the sneeze. Uh, like, just douse them? I was with yeah, somebody. N- never from the nose. Always from the mouth. Without naming names, I was with somebody once, and they farted on my leg in bed. <laughs> It Wait. felt like a horse trying to eat an apple out of my lap. <laughs> like That's it. what it felt like. Wait, like the butt cheeks were like munching, like the air was trapped. <laughs> Wait, I have so. Was your leg wedged in the crack? Yeah, we were spooning, and it was, it was, it was. How, I was blocking the path. How did yeah. that like thing of air? Hole on thigh? Yeah, there you go. How did the thing of air feel like munch? It was, it was the movement of everything. So I guess everything. Oh tried my to god. Escape. Okay. That's what it. That's what it felt like. That's that's interesting. And of course, I started laughing and of woke course. her up. That's a great way to describe it. Uh, not naming names. A horse trying to not naming apple. names. It is. Is that it... another entry I see there? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Kill me. Well, that one. That one's very <laughs> clever. That's but what, the hey, damn wait. egg isn't is, on there. Is it a hard boiled egg? Was that mouth an accident? I want to know. No, it's a chip. No, it's a chip. Oh, oh, shit. The wrong, okay. It's the wrong kind of chip. I like how the eyes are all gammy, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, duh. Gammy is the best word you use, Bernie. Yeah. Hey, you got it from Gavin. All my good stuff comes from Gavin. Okay. Never mind. Did you Take not get back. that from your other British friends who you like way better than the no. best British friends? I have a question for you guys. She has British friends. I do. And neighbors. They're, they live next door. I mean, I just oh. I see them all the time. There's British people who live in Austin that aren't Gavin? I know. Yeah, I've never found one, but apparently. You've met them. Yeah. You've met Vicky at least. Ah, whatever. Yeah. What's your question? <laughs> When you guys fart and you're sitting in a chair, does does your fart ever get caught like within your balls? No, like no. it gets stuck in girls' vaginas. Yeah. Like that happens. That like, doesn't happen to like dudes. Like farts get caught in my vagina lips all the time. I Mine go the opposite can't... way. <laughs> this I've heard about this, and I can't lips. imagine it. Mine like bubble up through the butt. Crack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, Segue to a sponsor from that one, guys. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Um... Bubble out labia. <laughs> Why would the balls be there? I'm well, looking at my notes, well, by the way. I'm not like checking my phone. If you're like, check my notes. You're kind of like, sitting like... sat down, my balls are way in front of my anus. No. Wait, but so have like you ever sat on your balls by accident? Oh, yeah. That's I feel yeah. like I yeah. assumed guys always sat on their balls. Yeah, me too. It's no. very specific situations, like getting on a bike from behind. That's how I did it. It hurt like hell. <laughs> Where the balls just like scrape yep, the seat. Yeah, just like... I, I hurt myself getting into my car. What were we doing? No, you said you sat on your elbow. I sat on my elbow. <laughs> and I swear, my elbow, it's we were impossible. shooting. We were shooting million dollars butt in LA, and my elbow hurt. And they said, What's wrong with your elbow, guy? I sat on it. <laughs> and it's true, I sat on my elbow. Okay, and I can't even, no, it's, it's like tricky, not, man. It's not easy to do. You I was getting sit. into my car and and I just like like backed in. I was on the phone and backed in butt first, but I like everything went in at the same time, and my elbow got caught on the steering wheel, and then my full weight of my body jammed it on, sat on it, and oh jammed it into the steering wheel. So wow. I sat on my elbow and hurt my elbow. I'm fine, starting. by the way. Only no you. one seems worried. Okay. I'm fine. Yeah. You look fine. Thank you. You look great. Thanks. I feel like that's, like that's going to be a bigger dude sort of thing. I feel like if I squashed my elbow, it wouldn't hurt. I, it, was, it was the way I hit it. You know you hit your elbow, you get that, that like that. The funny bone. Yeah. Didn't, you know, didn't Michael big. throw something at your elbow on off topic like or something? Yeah, Michael, I have to avoid Michael when he's absolutely hammered because it's like the Terminator. He sees me and he, he looks for things to throw at me. Mm. How'd your Mario party go? Oh, long. Four, four hours. Oh. 50 like, turns. from start to the end? Yeah, we took a few breaks to, like, save the file. We didn't want to record all on one Are you going to call it 50 turnies? No. <laughs> Not a Good one, Barb. I'm going to see if I have any of the notes. I, th- I, I, I 
You all spoiled it though. I saw screenshots of the uh, the no, final. No, that was a different game. Oh, that was a different one. No, the the winner has not been oh. announced. Oh, Lin okay. Lindsay posted a screenshot. I think they played Mario Party this weekend, uh, like on a like her and Andy and Michael. Got it. Did you guys read about the Huffington Post blogger who cheated on the marathon? No. no. Oh, this the is... one that like took a bike. Yeah, it's crazy. She 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 cheated on the marathon, and there's a guy who apparently somewhere in the world is a marathon detective, and his hobby is to like break down people's race times and their splits. I bet he drives around with a GoPro pointing at a passenger. I don't even think he was there. I think he just like got the, the you know, because everything has all the data everywhere. And he was showing how her uh, mile time rapidly decreased over the course of the race. Like towards the end, she her last like two or three miles, she ran way faster, which nobody does that in a marathon. Nobody. And uh, it was crazy because <clears throat> she she cut the course at the end. She placed second, I believe. She accepted the medal, everything, everything was great. Then she went home and redid the entire course again on a bike so that she would have the GPS data showing that she had done the actual full course and turned that in, I guess, to something or posted that online. And mm. the guy used that to figure it out as well, put together all this data, called her on it, and she's like, yeah, I'm a huge liar. Yes, I am a huge like, liar. Wow. And she, What's the gain from that? I, mean, I, I feel like no the whole idea. point of running a goddamn it? marathon is to place. stretch your body to its limit. Right. Like, what and she's For the attention? Yeah. I mean, also, Becca, as, so a, as a guy who can't run five miles, <laughs> she ran 23 miles and then cut the end of the course. It's like, you ran 23 yeah. miles. Yeah. Like, you're there already. Yeah, it's just like, do it. just take one miles, big man. step Come and you're done. That's it. You got 23 miles. If I run 23 miles, I'm not cutting the course. I'm like gonna crawl into a coffin. You can just bury <laughs> yeah. me right there. What's the furthest you've run? Who, who are you talking? Me? To? Yeah, I can't. I can't look at you. So uh, I'm just like I've run it. uh, you, you like in a row, like not. They're just like in one session. I've run seven miles, uh, in one session. I run like I've run five miles like in a row with no but stopping the walk race. or anything. That, I don't know. Who knows? Um, I don't even know. We didn't. We it was I a lot of that sprints. Day when you do that bench thing. Y'all, y'all covered some ground on that. You must have gotten. No, the place where I ran the most was the China in the amusement park. I oh, ran yeah. back and forth across the amusement park like eight times. You ran all the way around the world, right? I did all the way around the stupid fucking world in that place. <laughs> you uh, ran so far. Windows away. of the world, Gus. So I want to look this Huffington Post lady. I, her apology was just like. It was almost like she was happy to be apologizing in a weird way. Mm. Because the just stress was done. Just to be freed from the lie. No, yeah. The lie she created. Like, cheat on marriage. I think she just wanted to own up to it as fast as possible so it didn't get out of control, maybe. That's my yeah. that's my presumption. Yeah, runner caught cheating in Fort Lauderdale race. You gotta read this. It's crazy. And she has her apology online. I won't read it here, but it was just like... She, everyone was like, and then of course, I made a horrible choice at the Fort Lauderdale, La oh, oh, she was half marathon, at the oh, Fort Lauderdale half marathon on Sunday, February 20th. I wasn't feeling well, so I cut the course in all capital letters and headed to the finish line. I got swept away in the moment, and I pretended I ran the entire course when in fact I cheated, all capitals, and should have been disqualified, or should have disqualified myself. And it's just like, why not just stop the race? Why? Yeah. Why? Just also, stop. Be like, right. up in the moment. I mean, yeah. I'm just got, gonna. I'm just gonna walk now. She went back and got on a bike. And also, rode I feel the like bike. people probably cheat in marathons and half marathons all the time. Why did she become the one to be investigated? Also, who fucking cares? Right. <laughs> My the you, Fort Lauderdale half marathon. <laughs> the person who got third is pretty. Upset, Quim I'm de la sure. All right, let's wrap this up. All right. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks we'll see you guys with some pancakes again next year. Bye. Shrove Tuesday. I was on Always Sunny.